hello hello everybody oh sorry there was a weird noise all of a sudden right when i said that <laughs> in my room and it was my parents leaving <laughs> god that scared the hell out of me hello everybody hello uh brad and hello denny how are you both doing you feel dead today denny why did you not get a lot of sleep i hope that was all it is and it's not something more but i hope you're doing well nonetheless i always swear when I push not go live, as soon as I turn my mic on, something will always happen. It's like people either in my house or my neighborhood know I push the live or the mic button on and then something happens. Like my parents just left the house so the door closed and it doesn't like shake the house but it's like a loud sound. Scared the hell out of me. Couldn't figure out what was- why is there no game in my box? I'll fix that in just a minute. Hi cookies! How are you? I swear, lately, every time I start streaming, something is broke. Well, this isn't broke. This is just me forgetting to um, change it from, I think, Dead by Daylight. Yeah, I forgot to change it from Dead by Daylight. See if it pops on. There it is! Now we have a game capture. That was my bad. Doing well? How are you? I'm not doing too bad. Can't complain, really. I mean, I don't know what I would be complaining about, but honestly, I've been having pretty good last few days. The holiday was nice. My weekend was oh nice. And I'm ready to get back to some variety today. We've got... We've got, um... Hi, not so Scott. Or, wait, I always say this wrong. I'm gonna call you Skies, though. How are you doing? Three? What? Three years? Wait, who is this? How, who, who, who are you? <laughs> You've been following for three years? Thank you, Brad, so much for the shout out, by the way, for cookies. I hope you all are doing well. Whatever you said in between my, my, my I feel dead and now I don't hear. Oh, because, what, six ads were playing? What? There wasn't supposed to be any ads. I played some before stream so that they wouldn't go. I'm sorry, Denny. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just say Sky. It's fine. I will call you Sky. How are you? Uh, whatever you said in between, may I, may I feel dead now? I don't hear because six ads. Like, what the? I don't know why ads were playing because according to my screen, they're not playing. I'm sorry, Denny. I'm sorry. You let everyone be just about. We got three years, pretty much four months. Pretty much four months because we got 30 days and 22 hours. I'm the head on Joe here now. <laughs> pretty much. I think we were talking about follow ages the other day. And... I know my mod magic has just passed, I think just passed three years? I can't remember what she had, but it was not that long. I'm, I guess it happened, I don't know why you got so many ads. I always, what I do is I play ads literally, literally, blah, 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 literally during my starting soon screen so that it's almost two hours until the next set of ads. And I don't know why Twitch is like, hey, Denny, here's some more. <laughs> here's some more. Well, what I said, Denny, was I'm sorry that you're feeling dead. I hope it's just because you're sleepy. And I hope that you're feeling okay and everything else is going well. Because I know the other day you were having a little bit of a hard day. So I hope that everything is going well. And I hope that you don't get any more ads that are six long after I've already played them. <laughs> Forever? Well, I haven't been on Twitch in forever. I was gonna say, like, I recognized your name, but then it's like, I've, it's like, three years? It's like, holy cow, but I understand it. I totally understand it. It's okay. It's all okay. It's never a requirement ever to be here. You can follow for however long you want and never, ever, ever pop in a stream. It is all okay. We have lives. We have to take care of things. I've taken breaks here and there and everywhere, so I've been all over the place when it comes to Twitch as well. 
So I totally <laughs> understand. <laughs> I totally understand. I'm but it's really good to see it. you. I, I can't Hi, Blossom. I, like, I'm tired of shit. That's what I was hoping it was. <laughs> oh my god. I was hoping you were just tired, Daddy, and it wasn't something more. But I want to be here. We'll always understand, Denny, that if you need sleep, I completely understand. But I always appreciate you being here. I really do. It's always good to see you. And thank you, Brad, so much for all the shout outs again. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have a bit of a habit of just disappearing from Twitch. I kind of had that habit as well. I, I will admit, I kind of had that habit as well. I uh, This past year, after I came back from a small hiatus yet again, or, yeah, it was about a year now. I always just like disappear for a while because it just mentally I just get totally worn out. Not necessarily from Twitch, but just from social media in general. And this past year, I came back in October of last year, a was the first time in forever. Given to. Blade Blossom, Blossom gifted a sub to Notoxkis. Blade Blossom gifted a tier one sub to Notoxkis. They have given 11 gift subs in the channel. Thank you so much for the gifted sub to Sky. That is super sweet of you. I hope the alerts are working today. I really apologize. On Saturday, I could hear them, but you guys couldn't. And I really, I really did not know that. And I'm very sorry. Hopefully they're on today and I fixed them. But I had to re-add them to my seeds on OBS because I, for some reason, deleted them from last year. <laughs> I worked in the Fang flashbang. Thing, and I forgot to set the input the to be um, on stream. On I only had it as my earphones. And then they all were here, <laughs> and then they all just followed me. But Blossom, thank you so much for the sub, the Hi. gifted sub, excuse me, Hi. to Sky. Okay. I appreciate that. Oh. They are, yay! Yeah, all right, I, I don't know what we're Sorry doing. Sorry about that, I didn't know that. I, I watched back I, my I stream. you guys blocked me in. To, uh, I was checking to see if all, like, the, like, the decorations and everything looked okay, and I just happened to be on a part, um, the part where Blossom had resubbed on Saturday with, um, her amazing sweet message, and I, like, was watching it, and I'm sitting there reacting to it, I'm like, oh no, nobody could hear it! <laughs> so I apologize, I hope they are fixed, thank you, Blossom, for letting me know, but... We got them. I apologize. I did not mean for that to happen. But I also started stream on Saturday with no music because I had that messed up and everything. And then today I had my video messed up, so it's okay. I remember we used to play DVD a lot. I haven't touched that game in years. I freaking love DVD still. It's my maid. I didn't finish my thought process earlier. Sorry. My brain goes all over the place because I have just, like, the most scatterbrained ever. But this past year was the first time ever since streaming that I've actually stayed on Twitch for an entire year without taking any breaks. Now, last year, I t or not last year, last week I took a break, but it was mainly just because it was the holiday week. And it was kind of nice just to spend it with my family. It wasn't anything else other than I just wanted to take some time off for um, spending time with my family, even though last Monday I wasn't feeling the greatest. But at the same time, it was just nice to take it off. And I did do some stuff around my house, got ready for the holidays and everything. But this is the first year I have not taken a break. For a long extended period of time. I've taken breaks here and there from Twitch and social media. But that's my whole plan is to take breaks here and there for like a day or two. Stay away from social media. Stay away from online. Refresh. And then come back the next streaming day or whatever. And I feel better. And this past year, I think I finally found the nice groove of streaming and also being a VTuber has helped tremendously. And I don't see anything changing other than just little things here and there on my stream just to refresh. But other than that, I think everything's been going well. We hear them! Yay! <laughs> I'm so happy you guys hear them. I'm sorry. You just say. I could hear them last stream. I didn't realize you guys could it. I was going to start Harry Potter on my Discord, but my fiance woke me up and said, hey, let's go. Oh, well, you know what, Blossom? It's okay. Like I've always said, family, friends, offline, everything like that, that always comes first. So if you can't start your Harry Potter marathon today, I saw what you said in Discord. There's always tomorrow. But just remember, spend it with your family. Spend it with your family and always remember to take care of yourself. Us online is your family as well. But offline, you always need self-care and have fun. What? Is, oh, 
What are you guys gonna do, Blossom? What are you guys gonna do today? What do you guys have planned? Do you know? Or is it a secret? It might be a secret. But yes, I play DVD a lot, so... <laughs> Here, though, on Mondays, we play a variety game, and we have been trying to play through Franbo since, like, August. And I'm just a little behind because a lot of things happened between August and now. We had Dead by Daylight special events. We had um, Disney Dreamlight came out, which next week we'll be playing that. But next week it'll be different. We won't play on Monday. We'll play on Wednesday. Um, and it's taken me a little while to get through this game because puzzles stump me. I get frustrated a little bit at times because I don't push one lousy thing in this game to progress. But we're getting there. We're getting there. We have two more chapters to go, and today I'm hoping to get through at least chapter four. And then we'll have one more chapter to go, but next week we'll be playing Disney for sure, because the brand new update to Disney Dreamlight comes out on Tuesday next week. So next Wednesday we'll be playing that. And again, if you guys have not seen what I've been doing in this game and want to catch up of all my playthroughs, the edited versions from two weeks ago are starting to go up on YouTube. They'll be done by mid-December. And then all past streams are up on YouTube as well. But it's very long versions of me sitting there walking around a circle for like half an hour until we finally figure out what the puzzle is. So if you want to watch an easier version of me not being frustrated, YouTube ones will be up very soon. Oh, we got to figure out what... Oh, what tree we want, I think. Oh, okay. All right. I got to put my tree up. I got to put my tree up still. My, my dad yesterday said... Um, he's like, I was going to put the tree up today. But you said you were going to vacuum, and you didn't. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot to vacuum. <laughs> I was going to do that Friday when I took off from stream, when I was going to make up my days on stream. I was going to vacuum the house because I needed to vacuum it after Thanksgiving. And oh, poof, it just totally went out of my mind. So I got to do that tomorrow so I can put our tree up. But all our other decorations are up and everything. And I can't do it today because I'm streaming, but also... My parents just left because they had to go somewhere, so. Goof. I know! I just love the way my dad said it. He goes, you said you would go vacuum. I mean, like, he could do it too, but it's okay. I, I, it's my job. But I was like, oh, I'm sorry. He's like, no, no, it's okay. He goes, I actually forgot. Anyway, <laughs> he was just trying to be mean to me. He's like, don't worry, I forgot anyway. It's okay. So I'll be doing that tomorrow because I got that to do. And then I've also got to help my dad, um look at our roof because from the last time it rained uh we've got some issues so i gotta do that tomorrow as well with him because we're expecting some big old rainstorm coming in this past this past this coming weekend so i got lots to do to figure out that i'll be here lurking in and out all right sounds good blossom you have an amazing day and if you do go find a tree i hope you find the most amazing one ever and you guys have fun like i said always remember we will always be here. Always take care of your things offline with your family, your friends, and your real life. Well, not, I shouldn't say your real life. That sounds rude. But you know what I mean. Like your offline life. And we'll always be here. And again, like I said, if Denny needs to sleep, he can go to sleep. I don't mind. But I always enjoy his, his company as well. And we'll just be playing Frambo today. So, um... I will be recording this one for YouTube as well, so the next scene we're going to be going to won't be quite as nicely decorated like I have over here for Christmas because it's for YouTube and it's just kind of a distraction, I think, when watching YouTube videos. Uh, well, maybe not, but I just don't have any decorations on the next seat. So we're going to go pop over there, play this today, and then um, depending on how fast we get through Chapter 4 is um if we're gonna play anything else later or not but lately the chapter's been taking me longer than i anticipated today though i do need to just take a break at about 3 p.m my time because i have to go start dinner we're having cauliflower cheesy soup so i have it all cut up and ready i just didn't want it sitting in the crock pot for like three hours before i turned it on so about three o'clock i need to get up take a break go start that real quick and then come back and we'll finish but today, I'm hoping to get the chapter done before I need to get off. Because I need to get off about between 6 and 6.30 as well. So, because I got to finish up dinner and everything. So, I'm hoping the chapter will be finished because I do not like ending the chapter mid 
midstream. I like the chapter to be finished, but I don't know. Every time I say that, the chapter takes way longer than I anticipated. So, but that is what I'm going to be doing. I want pizza. I want pizza too. I think I'm having pizza in a few days though. So I think I'll be okay. <laughs> I think I'm having pizza in a few days. My dad's making some kind of shrimp thing and I don't like shrimp. So I'm like, I'll make something else. Pizza sounds good, yes. Yeah, we're have it's supposed to be broccoli and cheddar soup, but my brother prefers cauliflower, so I'm subbing out cauliflower or I'm subbing out broccoli for cauliflower for him. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. I just gotta go put all like the juices into it and then turn it on at about three o'clock. Cause I don't think my parents will be home to do it for me. Um but speaking of food, let me see what I'm eating. Got the hiccups. I have stuff to make my own. I have a frozen one. I don't have anything to make my own. <laughs> Nachos with a piece of toast. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Pizza toast is kind of odd with nachos, but I'll take it. Yeah, I don't have anything to make my own pizza, but I can't. I have a frozen one still because it came in a two pack. And I might make that when my dad makes his shrimp dinner because I don't want no shrimp. He can make his shrimp dinner. I'm making myself pizza. Actually, I think I have a frozen dough in the freezer. I need to look, but I don't have any pepperoni, which is what I would make. Oh, what's Denny eating? Oh, a grilled cheese sandwich with a jar of pickles? I would eat that for sure. <laughs> I would eat that for sure. I would even probably put the pickles on my grilled cheese sandwich. Not hot because I don't like hot pickles, but definitely probably after I cook my grilled cheese, I would probably... No pickles! I'll take your pickles, Daddy! I'll totally take them. I could eat pickles all day long. I could eat pickles all day long. I'm gonna hop over here. Oh! Blossom, you got a chocolate cake with a big soft pretzel? That sounds really good, too. The bots, you know, I've been very shocked. The, bots have, the bot has been very nice lately. Now that I say that, the next person who uses it will probably get the most disgusting combination ever. But... Well, Denny didn't get a good one. He doesn't like pickles. But I'm just saying, it could have been like fried insects. So, <laughs> Blossom got all the desserts she did. That is a really good combination. That's a lot of, well, cake's not really bread, but you know what I mean, like starchy stuff. Oh, that starchy stuff. Oh, what's cookies eating? Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I jinxed it. <laughs> I totally jinxed it. An order of caviar with a milkshake. That sounds like a fancy dinner. <laughs> Ew, I know. I told you. I, I told you. I don't know if I said it after or before Blossoms. No, I said it after Blossoms. Told you I jinxed it. A caviar and a milkshake, though, sounds very fancy. We're like, I'm going to go eat some caviar and a milkshake for dinner. I wouldn't eat it for sure, but I mean... You got a milkshake. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, cookies. <laughs> uh, I'll share. I, I'm going to take Denny's jar of pickles since he doesn't want them. If you would like some of my pickles, you can have some. I have a whole jar. I'll give Denny my piece of toast for his jar of pickles. I don't know if that, well. Grilled cheese sandwich with a piece of toast. I would take the milkshake, save. <laughs> save, I take the milkshake and then I'll just like. I don't know, push my caviar off the table and hope like one of my animals will munch on it or something. And no thank you to that. I told you I jinxed it though. Totally did. I will take them with a pickle. <laughs> I realized after I said it that way, I was like, oh my god, that's gonna come out so wrong. So I was trying to. <laughs> I was trying to like rebound from how I said it, and I don't think I did very well. <laughs> I would imagine that someone who eats caviar has it with some fancy sword wine or champagne. Probably. Most likely, I would think the same. But I was trying to make it sound better, at least with a milkshake. Because <laughs> that just sounded fancy. That's my fancy, in my opinion. Fancy to me is like a milkshake, but... Yeah, definitely some with caviar. They've got, like, that, like, very fancy champagne, and then they're eating with, like, the, like, silver... Like, actual silver silverware or something. And then they've got, like, their pinky up in the air and everything, you know. Like, has anyone seen that Spongebob episode where he's trying to be fancy and he's got his pinky up or something? Was he trying to be fancy? I can't remember, but he had his pinky up in the air was the whole point of that. Ew, pickles. I will take every pickle 
it from your food. Crap. <laughs> I'm trying to word that correctly. I will take any pickles you have on your food so that you don't have to eat them. With that tiny forks that never get used, but they're always on the table, yes! <laughs> yes, those! That, that is a caviar dinner right there. Or like fancy dinner, which would be caviar, but that is exactly what I was picturing. That is, you know, like fancy tablecloth and everything, and then like these bale chandel not chandeliers, um, candelabras and all that stuff. Yeah, that's my imagination today. <laughs> what would a real, I would say what would a real fancy dinner look like, but what would a fancy, fancy, fancy dinner look like? I mean, you can get cheap caviar. You don't have to be rich, but I can tell you caviar isn't that great. It's like eating pure salt. I don't want to try it. <laughs> I've seen I've seen cheap caviar somewhere, and I kind of assume cheap caviar is not good, probably, compared to how expensive ones might be. Like, I ain't going to go buy expensive caviar to compare it, but it would be kind of like when you go to a restaurant, you buy, like, this super amazing hamburger that's, like, absolutely amazing, and then you go to the store and buy, like, cheap frozen hamburgers. It's not the same. You know what I mean? Hi, Bright! How are you? Welcome to our talk of caviar. <laughs> Thank you, Blossom, so much for the shout-out. I like salt, but not fishy things, so I'll pass. Same. I don't like fishy things either. I actually don't really like salt that much, but it depends on what it's on. Like, popcorn? Yes. Salty popcorn? Love it. But then there's, like, certain foods, like, I don't really want salt on it. I usually, like, omit the salt when I'm baking, or not baking, when I'm cooking and stuff, because I don't want it. And then super salty foods I don't like. But... Super salty, like, candy, like, putting salt on candy sometimes when you get those sea salt ones. <gasps> those are so good. Those are so good. <laughs> How's your day going? <laughs> pretty good. Pretty good. It's Monday, so I, I think I, I think I've got everything fixed on my stream. Where did my music go? Did I turn it off? No, it just decided to stop. Um... But my day's been going pretty well. I had one technical difficulty, which seems to be the trend since I came back from my holiday vacation. But other than that, it's been good. I hope you've been a well, Bright. It's good to see you. But yeah, we were talking. My bot gave cookies uh, caviar to eat, and we were just talking about what caviar is and not what it is, but what a fancy dinner with it. What it might be like. But now. We are going to get into Frambo. Again, like I said, I'm going to be recording this for YouTube, so sorry there's nothing super fancy on this screen. Um, just me in a box. And we are currently on Chapter 4, which I forget what it was called. I think it was like My Imaginary Friend or something. Because um, it was called Chapter far 4, Part 1. And last time we streamed this, which was two weeks ago, we finished Chapter 3, which was that really beautiful world that I absolutely adored. Um, that we had to change the seasons to find clues and stuff. So I have no idea now where this is taking us when it comes to the universe or the world of Frambo. So I'm going to turn the music off now, even though it stopped playing already. And let's hop into game. Um, I'm not adjusting anything, so if it's too soft or anything, please let me know. But I think it should be okay because I haven't changed anything. But lately... For some reason, my sounds have been all messed up. But let's go. Let's see what the world of Franbo has for us in Chapter 4, Part 1. Oh, there's my pills. Hello, world. My goodness, the door opened. Wow, interesting. Why is that interesting? Oh my gosh, the door actually opened. Uh, come on, Mr. Midnight, let's find out where we are. Yeah, I don't even know where we're at. Bye, door. Oh, Fran, I hope we can find home soon. I'm starving. Don't worry, Mr. Midnight, we have caviar for you that nobody wants in chat. You may have it. <laughs> Mr. Midnight, look, I think we are on the other side of the bridge. What bridge? 
Do you remember the one we tried to cross before we fell? Oh, yeah, okay. I was just like, no, I don't remember what bridge. Yes, the one we fell into. Uh, the one we tried to cross before we fell into Etherista. Yes, I remember, now that you told me. Great, let's keep on going, Kitty. We have to be careful now. All right, well, I have no idea. I'm assuming these are our pills right here. I'm currently trying to figure out how to post shorts on YouTube. I have no idea. <laughs> Hi, Maria! I have the same, I have no idea. I've looked into, or I've thought, not, excuse me, I haven't looked into it, but I've thought about posting shorts on YouTube when I post, like, my TikToks and stuff, but I haven't really figured it out. Hope you've been doing well, Maria. But I've been trying to think I should probably start posting shorts on YouTube just to see, one, if they do well, and two, what is it like? Oh, you figured it out? If I have any problems when I finally do attempt it, I will definitely uh, reach out to you. Because I, like I said, I haven't actually tried, so I don't know if it's hard or not. But I do want to look into it more. I just haven't because I kind of forgot about him. Hi, Maria! Alright, let's see what this is. Oh, never mind. Are these my pills? Wow, but where are they going? So... When I play these games, I try and look at everything, because my OCD, I like to look at everything. But I'm also just kind of curious what there is in this game that you can click, and you know, the developers, the creators, and everything, they put time and effort into being able to push these things, so I want to see what they have to say. I wonder how long it took for this tree to grow. Oh, that's all she said, that one? What does this do if I push the eye? Oh, there's the bridge. I knew we were on the other side. What? Moonlight shines. It's very romantic. Aw. Oh, there's the bridge. I knew we were on the other side. This? This is very odd when we fell into a Therestead. There was no water. I wonder if we really fell. Maybe we fell upside down. <gasps> Are we in the upside down? Or were we in the upside down? But a much nicer version of it. Maybe the magical door into a Therestead is underwater. Possibly. <laughs> I feel like this is a trap. Pills attached to a line sign that says home. I have a feeling we're walking into like a Alice in Wonderland trap. I'm all right. Too busy with work. Boo. But how are you? I'm doing all right. I can't complain. Not too bad. It's Monday. I had a pretty good weekend, so just kind of going with the flow today. Home! I guess home is in that direction. But maybe it's not for me. The sign looks too old. But it has to be. Besides, if it's not, it will lead me... It'll lead me somewhere. Inside. I don't didn't catch the end of that. It will lead me somewhere anyway. Okay. This guy doesn't realize I'm a little slow at reading, so. Mmm. Delicious berries. I don't think these are on fire. They are regular berries, then, not fire berries. What the hell are fire berries? What does Mr. Midnight have to say? Kitty, did you say that? The pills moved by themselves. Yes, I think that's very strange. I told you it's a trap. Oh, this tree looks perfect to build a little tree house on. How lovely. Delicious berries again. Okay. Give me my I actually don't really want the pills, but don't move! You want me to show you the way back home? Something like that. <laughs> Sorry, I always kind of forget that it, it, it goes automatically and that I need to read it. <gasps> Not bad! Not bad at all, Maria. Avocado toast with a milkshake? Cookie's got um, caviar with a milkshake, so she was loving it. <laughs> Not really, but she was loving it. But I, I will admit I jinxed it. We were getting all these amazing foods, and then Cookie's bought herself some food, and then it came out to be caviar, and I felt really bad because I said, I said the pot was being nice. But I take avocado toast and a milkshake. That sounds really good. Have a 
absolutely nothing to click around here. It's probably just to follow the... What's in my bag, by the way? What's this? I wonder why Polantris gave me this. I can't open it. Maybe there's a secret code or something. Or maybe it can be opened. Or maybe it can't be opened at all. Hmm. I don't know what I would have that would have a secret code in it at the moment, so. Oh, nope, sorry. I forget. It's a point-click game. You can't use the keyboard. Oh! Told you it was a trap! Oh no! I shouldn't have touched the pills! Bad Fran! Bad, bad! <laughs> bad Fran! Uh, hello? Help! What should I do, kitty? We're trapped forever and ever! Oh no, oh! Oh no, I should- oh, okay, yeah, okay. I have a knife. I have a knife. I like Mr. Midnight's face. I'm going to swap with Maria when she isn't looking. <laughs> she, I, no, she's so fancy. That's what we were saying. Right after that, we started talking about what a fancy dinner with caviar might look like. <laughs> she is fancy, but I don't think I don't think Cookies wants to be fancy. <laughs> Why you put your pickle in chat? <laughs> that or SK is licking a pickle. I want to say that quietly just in case. <laughs> Maria's fancy, she takes. Oh, I know! Maria's fancy, she takes pics of castles all the time. I know, I saw some of those. Maria is fancy. <laughs> I ain't got nothing fancy to take pictures like that of. First puzzle, and I didn't struggle. Oh, hi. Fran? You're already here? Oh, excuse me. You're already here! Well, I wasn't expecting you until 2.35. I'm sorry, it's only 1.50. We are early. And as I see it, you are not trapped anymore. Interesting. Anyway, let me introduce myself. I am Itward, your faithful friend. Itward? Do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Yeah, he was that guy who came out of the tree trunk when we finally figured out that one puzzle. Yes, I'm the creature of the night. We've been playing together. I helped you to get Mr. Midnight back, you see? Really? Huh, I think I managed quite well to find my kitty on my own. Hey, aren't you the one that made the sisters mad? I don't remember that. <laughs> I wanted to lick a pickle today. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. You can, you can lick pickles. <laughs> we, it's weird for we were talking about pickles because I took, I took Denny's. <laughs> I took Denny's jar of pickles because he didn't want them. <laughs> no, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They believed it they believed it was me. You see. But that's because they never looked into themselves. What do you mean by they never looked into themselves? They blamed me instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. Oh. <laughs> but let's stop talking about the sisters, shall we? Don't you recognize me, dear Fran? The long man with the top hat? I always came by at night and told you stories when you were just a little baby. Well, that's rather creepy. I came to you after you imagined me. But I'm not imaginary, you see. I'm part of your reality. Did I imagine you? You look quite familiar. Yes, I can't deny that. I exist because you exist. The truth is that... You were able to imagine me because I already existed. Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. Actually, he should have like a very fancy voice, but I don't really feel like doing fancy voices today. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Follow me! I can't trust you or take me home. I don't know, he looks really trustworthy to me. I love all things spoopy, scully, 
creepy like, so I would trust him for sure. Exactly, I'm not licking chat. <laughs> And there we go, food for chat. So whoever got really bad food earlier or didn't want some of their food, SK has delivered chips and salsa with a cup of hot chocolate. Could be worse, but I'd eat it. No pickle, big sad, I know. <laughs> big sad. Like I said, Denny got pickles earlier. You couldn't have his. <laughs> he didn't want his jar of pickles. Chips and salsa sounds really good. Like, I want, like, when I'm talking chips and salsa, I want, like, an authentic restaurant, or, excuse me, Mexican restaurant with those amazing chips and salsa. I got some chips and salsa right now, but it's not great. I am going to say take me home, though, because I would trust this guy. Take me home? I can't let you do that. I don't know you. Oh, come on now. I won't hurt you. I'm not made out to, of darkness. I'm your friend. Hmm. Alright, you seem nice. I'll go with you, but I won't trust you yet. That's fine. Come on now, I have something to show you. Oh my god, he's so freaking awesome looking. Like, I'm just saying, I would trust him. More berries? More berries. This is a time machine? Oh, the oh, it's a flying machine. The it word flying machine. What do you think? Personally, <clears throat> I love it. I love it. It has many buttons to push. Yeah, y'all know I'm a button pusher. Yes, with this gorgeous piece of machinery, I'll take you home. Well, will excuse me, will fly as soon as I fix the details. Besides, it's not 2:35 yet. No, it's still 1:50. That sounds great, but what is it about 235, sir? I don't understand. It's when time becomes slower, and that gives us a chance to enter the ultra reality. Inside the ultra reality, we can travel wherever we want to go. Right now, we are standing on the endless limits of the second reality. But you are, but you are part of the third reality. Do you understand? You're throwing a lot of numbers at me. One reality, two, three, ultra. I don't know where the hell I am. Wait, what? I'm not fancy. Yes, you are, Maria. You take pictures of beautiful castles, and that's fancy. That's super fancy. I don't take pic I don't take pictures of nothing. <laughs> you guys have ever noticed by my Instagram account, I barely take photos. <laughs> Uh, but I don't really understand what he's saying. Oh, yes, I do understand. It sounds insane. I actually really don't. But it's okay. But, sir, should I just wait until you are done fixing the machine? Wait? Of course not. You can help by getting water and fire berries. All right. Now nah, I'll wait here. All right. It's better to do something than nothing at all, I guess. Great. Here is my amazing handmade bucket for the water. I made it myself. I like that. Ah, and the fire berries? You'll realize which berries to pick up because of the fire. All right, but sir, can I just ask, why do you need the berries and the water? Ah, well, the berries are incredibly good fuel. They last many, many hours. And the water is to get rid of the dirt. The Kamalas. Oh, Kamalas? I see. I hope they don't come around the flying machine. We never know. But we do know that they don't like water, yes? Whatever you guys say, because I don't remember. Oh, darling, I almost forgot. Your medicine. You need it. No, I don't. Some things are still invisible. Oh, that's right. Some things are still invisible to your eyes, you see? Here. Thanks. Invisible to my eyes? Hmm, I see. Well, thank you. I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the trap caught me first. Oh, yes, about that. I'm sorry. I needed to get your attention somehow. 
it's okay, sir. I defeated a trap like in one second. I was so smart. Didn't take me long at all. Anyways, I'll go get the fireberries in the water. I'll be right back. Great. I'll be preparing the machine. All right. I forgot. Yeah, the pills. They show us like a different reality or a different dimension or whatever. <laughs> I just live in Europe. They're like ever. It's not fancy. Yeah, no. But still, I won't call you fancy because I don't have no castles. I'm just, I'm just your normal person living in the woods. <laughs> You take pictures of food and cats. Hi, SK's mom! Basically, yes. Basically, that's my pictures, too. Like, I do take pictures. I just don't post any because most of the time, they're a food for Discord or just my animals. Whatever the hell they're doing that I want to take a photo of. Or the other photos I take are screen captures of my phone, which I guess aren't really photos, but because I don't want to forget something and I need to keep it on my phone. <laughs> but that's, yeah, same. Always food and animals. So let me see. Wait, can I click anything here? Ooh, yes. Wow, a machine bird. This is grand. Oh, wonderful. You can sing. Birdie, birdie. Birdie bird, excuse me. Because you'll get to fly when we depart, okay? Um, I'm assuming talking to him really does nothing. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. let's see what's around here when I take my pills. Oh. Oh, that doesn't look, that doesn't look fun. That doesn't look fun at all. Am I nutritious? I bet I am. Tasty flesh, what? Ew, I look completely deformed. Why did she say tasty flesh? I wonder if this Fran is really me, but from some other place. Oh, that might be a thing. Who took you here? Or is it me visiting you in the other reality? That's probably true. You are the Kamalas, aren't you? Can you talk? Hello? Hello, I'm standing here. Wow, so much hair and so shiny. I feel like in a magical world of hair. So it doesn't look like there's anything here for me. I don't really know. Well, he said something about fire. He said something about fire. So I'm assuming fire berries are going to be around fire. Uh, SK's mom, thank you so much for petting and feeding Sally. There we go. We could give the caviar to Sally on screen. She can have the caviar that we all don't want. <laughs> So there's nothing over here either. I'm assuming fireberries. I was just gonna say I'm assuming the water I need to get was probably back um, at that one part that we were at. Get out! Get out! You are trespassing on my territory. Hello? Huh? Excuse me. I thought you were dead. How can you possibly think that? You have no manners, young lady. You don't look very well, just saying. Very sorry, but you seem to be all rotten and bloody. Me? Rotten and bloody? I think you are misunderstanding the situation. Misunderstanding? Uh -oh, why do you say that, Mr. Moose? Mr. Moose? But I'm not a moose. I'm a... De deadly worm? A deadly worm? A deadly worm? Excuse me? A deadly worm. No, no. Not a deadly worm. A deadly worm. I don't go around killing creatures. I don't think I'm saying that right, but it's gonna be gonna be it. Ah, uh, thank you so much for the head pat, too. I appreciate that. I just realized this sign now says hell and not home. I just get back to the soil what creatures took from it and don't need any more. But I only see a talking moose. Where are you? Oh, is he like some, maybe someone like in the moose? Yeah. <laughs> Down here, creature. Can't you see me? 
Now I get it. A deadly worm. Nice. My name is Fran. Oh, there you are. You are so tiny. Hello. My name is Fran. Hello, Fran. Can I ask, why did you touch the moose in the first place? I didn't really want to touch it. I was just complimenting on it. Normally, only savages would touch dead animals. Are you one? Of course not. I was trying to see if I could climb onto it. Oh. To re oh, to reach the fireberries. I clicked this first. None of this is what I was thinking it was going to happen. I see. I think it is possible. The moose is still very sturdy and solid. But the fireberries are on fire. You can hurt yourself. Yes, I see the fire, but I have to take them somehow. Good luck with that! Climb on now. I'll keep working. Thank you, sir. I like your little curtsied. I'm assuming I probably have to put some water on these. I can't take the fireberries. They're on fire. Yeah. Can I just get down now? Yeah. I was like, I think I need something. I didn't know talking to him first was going to do all that. Hell? Well, I don't want to go there. This sign is a bit confusing. It has two destinations. Wow, well, okay, that's the same thing. Okay, so... I'm a soul man. Oh, hi! You're lovely. Hello! Are you those tiny, or excuse me, are those shiny insects that get stuck on trees because of curiosity? I was just gonna say, do I have to find your comb again? You should get stuck, yes. How do you know this? You are not one of us. I met your kind. I met some of your kind before. I helped them to get free from curiosity. Ah, this is very nice of you. Curiosity can lead us to unexpected situations. That's very true. Are you stuck? Yes, I think curiosity is a good thing, but are you stuck? Not at all. We are just trying to make our hair the longest hair ever. Wow, that sounds amazing. Good luck. I have to go now. Bye-bye. I am assuming that maybe I'll do something with her later. Them, excuse me. I don't know who they are. Alright, um, let's see if the pills do anything here. Nah, I didn't think so. What's this say? The handmade bucket, it were made, it's empty. Uh-huh. Use on the water. Oh, I can't reach the water from here? What the hell? First puzzle and I'm already stuck. My boots are quite dirty. I have to clean them when I get home. Uh, I thought that water was actually, like, right there. I didn't realize it was far. Does this make it closer? No. Okay. So, I need something to lower the bucket down there. But I literally haven't seen anything since I walked all this way. I kind of am assuming I need to get something from them. really have it wonder oh wait 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 can I just use my knife oh I was trying to use it for string oh wait let me try something I don't think this is how we do it but I'm gonna try it no get out scavenger I'm trying to climb again it's me sir can I climb the moose again go ahead I, I like how every time we climb the moose the guy comes out and like as a guard. I could cut the berries off the tree, but they are on fire. But that would be ideal. All right, we can't cut them. Oof. Stop, stop, stop! 
That can't be done. Okay, so let's see what he has to say. Did you find the fireberries in the water already? We need them for the journey back home. No, sir. Oh, my dear kitty, I hope the flying machine takes us home. Me too, but if it breaks while we fly, we can get her. Uh, okay, so I am, like, okay, this is, like, something very common when I play this game. I'm always missing, like, one very tiny thing. Very tiny detail that always gets me stuck. It wasn't as simple as I thought of just cutting the berries down or walking over there and getting water. It says it's too far down, so I'm assuming... I'm assuming I need something to attach to the bucket so that I can get the water. And I thought the water would put out the berries. But I haven't seen anything in either universe to, like, cut. Maybe that's not it, though. I have a crayon... Match. Can I light some just, like, random berries on fire? I don't think this has anything to do with anything. This was literally, like, I think just, um, like, lore. I need to go back here. I want to talk to this person again. I need help, please. Would you allow me to tie this bucket to your beautiful hair? See, I told you I was missing one little step. I figured I needed string, and I went right here. So I was like, okay, maybe if I give her the bucket, I can tie it to her. But uh, apparently that was right. Uh, would you allow me to tie this bucket to your beautiful hair? Tie a bucket to our hair? Why? That sounds insane. Oh, it's not insane at all. I need water from under the cliff, but I can't reach it. I need to use your beautiful long hair as a rope. Please help me. All right, we'll help you. Tie the bucket real tight. Oh, thank you. You're very nice. Fill up the whole bucket, please. Nice. The bucket is now full of water. Ah, uh, thank you, shiny insects. I have to go now. I have to go home. Home is somewhere we all wish to belong, but does home belong somewhere? That's a really interesting riddle. What? I'm sorry? I didn't really understand the question. It was a rhetorical question. I just wanted to say that you are your own home. Aww. I mean, she's got a point. They've got a point. Welcome yourself inside. You will find many doors to open. Oh! That sounds mysterious and beautiful. I'll try to do that some other time. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Thanks for your insight there. Can I have my bucket back? The bucket is full of water. doesn't weigh anything. Bucket is full of water. Okay, so... I'm kind of curious. I don't know if I could put the berries out with the water. Or if I just have to give him the whole bucket. But I am going to try. Just more out of curiosity if that's how we get the berries down, but I don't think it is. The fire is gone! I can take the berries now! Let's go! Oh, I can't just pull them off. Let's cut them down. That was right. I thought that the water was only going to be used for giving it to Itward. Berries! Do I still have water? Oh, yes. I didn't use all the water. I is smart. All right, let's go give these to Itward. Sir Itward, here's the bucket full of water. I got help from the shiny insects. You mean the Lucif Luciferns? They are nice, yes, but only when you see them in this reality. They're very dangerous if you ever see them in the fifth reality. They can burn you. Wow. Burn me. Well, I haven't been into the fifth reality yet. I don't recommend it. What's reasonable there may be the worst you'll ever experience. 
Oh, I forgot to thank you for the water. Thank you, Fran. You're welcome. Here's some berries, too. Sir, I brought the fire berries, but they are not on fire anymore. Magnificent! That will do just fine. Thank you very much, my darling. Oh, Fran, it's 2.34. It's 2.12. Close enough. The journey will begin. Let's go inside the machine. He didn't even have to duck. Come, Mr. Midnight. Hurry up! Ooh! It's 2.36. Damn, that took two minutes. We have a great possibility of reaching the target in good condition. We'll soon be on our way to the third reality. Are you excited, Fran? Understand more. Where is it? Let's see, where is it? It sounds exciting. Palantras told me about different realities, but where are they? You'll soon understand. The answers are not easy to recognize. Why not now? Time goes as if it has to in order for you to be alive. Nice. <laughs> if it all happens now, you'll probably, or you'd probably explode. That doesn't sound fun. Are you telling me that the answers I'm looking for will come to me when they want? Not exactly. You know what? I'd rather say, through time, you have to explore and experience to understand. This means the answers will come when you find them. I mean, he's got a point. He's got a point. I mean, it's kind of like that in real life. Not always do you get the answer to something right away. I guess you could say, well, I have to look for them. Not when others tell you how or where to find them. Ah, I see. Well, I'm excited now. You woke up my curious curiousness. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Be curious and you'll always be amazed. Or you'll get in trouble. But now, Fran, we have to get things done. Talking won't take you home. Aw. What things, sir? The machine needs some maintenance and I think you would do incredible work. Here are the fire berries and the water you gathered before. Why did I have to give them to you? I mean, you could have just said, hey, hold on to them and I'll give them back in a minute. You'll need them to get the water pump working again and the fuel mixed. You'll find all information you need when you enter the room to the left. Well, is this technically the left? But feel free to enter the room or any room you wish. I'll be quite busy fixing the automatic driver. But if you have something to ask, I'll be here. Never done this before. Never done anything like this before. That makes it more exciting. Have fun, my darling. All right, I'll go now. Bye bye. Does a palace count as a modern castle? Sure, why not? Why not? There's a lot of things to click in here. Oh! <laughs> Duck tick is always good to fixing stuff. I didn't mean to pick that up. I was just, like always, clicking around for funsies. Okay, so I've got duct tape. Can I take this hammer? No, a hammer. Obviously to hammer stuff. Well, not if you wanted to use the hammer for something else. But for what? Nah, I'll just leave it there. I mean, I could think of maybe another reason to use it. A wooden foot. It reminds me of me when I was a tree. I guess it's used as as a model for making shoes. It words. Shoes are very pretty. He's got the dancer shoes. Ew. Ew, what is that? Lots of feet and shoes. I have no idea what this is. A feather like the great wizard's riddle. The pen of men and the freedom of birds. Yes, yes. I think I knew the answer before reading the riddle. 
I actually, that was like the first one I actually knew what the answer was. Oh, this looks very complicated. Not interested in knowing what it is. Maybe some other time. I'm just clicking around. I think I has a it word style. He likes things that I also like. Oh, I think it's an I like it word style. All these details make me wonder. This is probably all the same. Excuse me, it word. Then I posted a fancy picture in your Discord. <laughs> all right, I'll go check out the fancy picture in just a few minutes. I got Kamala Hunt right now. I don't know what this is. Press start. Get ready. Oh wait, how do... I don't know how it might... No, I can't move with my mouse. So I guess I'll just do this. It hits me. Oh no, it hits me again. I really don't know how to go back and forth other than this. Oh, game over. <laughs> well, that was fun! Okay, I don't know if that's actually something I have to do or if that's just a fun little extra thing. Ah, oh, I know what that is. A compass. Hmm, but this one seems to be confused. It shows north and south at the same time. I wonder what this machine does. It does for sure many things or nothing at all. Things move and rotate. That's all I see. Okay. Um. I can click a couple more things. This music makes me think of forks. Forks? Like the dinner thing? Maybe it's done with forks. You never know. Okay. Hello? Fran speaking! Huh. Nobody answers me. Anyways, I can always talk to myself. Or Mr. Midnight. Push a button. Oh! Okay, I'm going this way first. The Mr. Midnight cat! What was I supposed to be doing? Forks! Um, oh, I was supposed to be fixing stuff. Okay. Anyway, oh god, there's so many things to click. This lamp looks like a teapot with forks and spoons. This looks like a mathematical problem, but I won't try to solve it. I have other things to do. Sometimes I'm just like clicking things because I didn't even know I could pick up that duct tape, so. I wonder what kind of things this machine counts. It does have wires. How does it work? It works technology is very amazing. The keyhole requires a key for sure. Push a button. It feels like something is missing. Yeah, the key is missing. Okay. Lovely bears. They hold each other's hands. Ah, that fuck you. Yeah. Mini shoes. Maybe they are too tight for the big it word. There are many women's shoes too. Maybe it word likes them. Of course. Why not? They are pretty. Mini tiny gloves. They look a bit familiar. With those gloves I've lost through time. Maybe it were stole those gloves. That is why I lost them. Is this like all of her stuff? That's King Zyar. I recognize him. Oh, I see it now. Yeah. I see now. They are friends. That's good. It makes me want to trust it word. A clock. I like how sometimes it's like a clock. Many things to look at. I don't think I need any of this. It makes me wonder. Oh, so many pages to read. I hope they have pictures. Same. The letters are all right. They tell stuff to imagine. I misunderstand stories sometimes, and that can be a great danger. <laughs> I feel that, Fran. I feel that. <gasps> I'm sorry. Those twins always freak me out. They got the key, though! Oh my god, this one is... Ugh. Look at the smile on her face. Give me this. Yes, thank you. I wonder what it's for. I know what it's for. Are you... Are you here to kill Itward? Hello? Why won't you talk to me? This one's got... I'm very sorry for what I did to you. I hope you can forgive me. This one's got the most... 
creepiest of smile on her face. Oh, I'm getting out of here. Eee. There you go. Let's see what happens. Push a button. In a world made of darkness and light, two little sisters try to steal each other's charm. But none of the sides could decide if what they were was just right. Mia was angry and Clara was sad. And this was because they both were mad. Oh, insane little girls. Inside of their minds, it were the creature of the night. He came, always, he came always around in dreams or reality, teaching the girls the splendor of duality. But they couldn't understand. Itward was a friend. Itward was the link between darkness and light. He was gray. But Clara and Mia one day decided to get rid of Itward once and for all. Die, creature of the night. Die, they said. But they killed each other instead. Dead and gone. The sisters kept complaining about each other. It's all your fault, Clara. 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 It's all your fault, Mia. Then it were came to visit for the last time. And he said, You are both trapped. In the world of disconnections. Oh my god, my Wi-Fi. Uh, but I'll give you a chance. The world has been mean to you. They sewed your bodies together. Ooh. Oh, I gotta remember that, yeah. To prove that they could. They gave you a mirror to compare yourselves. I'll give you nothing but what you already have. And just one tiny little chance to understand the purpose of life. But the clock is ticking. You have until the day a black cat goes missing and the well's magic door is unlocked. The end. That was really cool. I like that. I liked that. I don't know if I was supposed to be keeping track of something in that story, but I liked the story. Does this go up? Oh, the ladder leads to a door, but it's closed. Never mind then. Alright. Wait, what's in here? realities it word. This one's a little too creepy for me. Oh, nope. 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 I'm on me way. Bye bye. Can I click this? No. Wow, that's a huge spinning top. I'm guessing this may be the engine. I really like the design. It's very understandable. The compass goes in circles, upside down and nowhere. These lights show for sure that something is working. Is that in the game or? Oh, it must be in the game. I thought I heard my dog behind me, but I was like, no, I don't think he came in. It's in the game. Hmm, are these to drink water? They're quite small. Maybe they're for very small amounts of water. Maybe they're for very thin people. The vase has no flowers. Well, I'll just leave it there. And a pencil! I don't need this pencil. I already have a crayon. Oh, very good point. Look at this mess. Itward doesn't know about hygiene. Ah, he's got a top hat. He's fancy enough. He doesn't need to know anymore. But he does know about mechanical things. 
Maybe he keeps these parts to make new ones. Oh dear. Oh no. What the hell is this? I don't like this. What is this? What do you have inside of those little bottles? What? Or, no, it's the same thing. Oh! Pink hose. Maybe good for connecting somewhere. Oh, is this not a puzzle? Blue hose already ready to use. Thought this will be a really... It could be a really bad puzzle. Oh! <gasps> What do you have inside? Okay, well, I just... I just put a bunch of crap in this bottle. I don't know. Okay, I'm assuming I gotta do something here, but I don't know... This is... There's a whole bunch of information. Okay, um, I'll be back. Did I already do this? I don't know why every time we come over to these realities, it creeped me out. Seconds and mi seconds and minutes and hours and days. Tick tock, tick tock. I forgot to understand you. I forgot to give myself some love. I think this right here is gonna tell me what to do in that thing. Ugh, okay. Mm hmm. Reality view. Ultra reality view. Oh, this is how to make the fire berries. Okay, I see. I see. I see. Okay. Reality and ultra reality. Interesting. This looks this looks very chemical and thud. This must be the mixture for the fuel. Yes. Oh, did I not pick it up? Can I do that here? No. You're not sure you're supposed to have it side by side for me. Oh, I don't have to do it in that reality. Okay, so... How do I get rid of this? Okay, I think I can just do this. How do I get that to the next stage, though? This one doesn't fit here. This one doesn't fit here. Okay, so... I didn't even notice what the next one was. Oh, that puts it in that one. So how do I get over to this one? Oh. Pink hose on the spot! Did it. I wasn't even paying attention. Blue hose, got it. Okay, I don't know though, how do I get it over here? Oh, pink hose? No. It's burning quite a lot, that's good. Okay. So I figured out how to put the hoses there, but I don't really get, how do I, I don't really know what this means. Let me see. An AFM is missing. Duct tape. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Let me try something. Oh, I can't use my pills here. Never mind. I was gonna use my pills here and then do something. Well, I figured out the first step, but I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing to get. Like, how do I get to the next bottle? Cause I know what to put in them. Um. 
What's this? Okay. Has to do something with this. I didn't even see this over here. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I gotta go back to this picture. Oh, water! That's not fire. Sorry. I saw this and I just automatically thought it was fire. Okay. <gasps> the hose is leaky. Nothing duct tape won't fix. That needs to be sideways and that needs to be down. Okay. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Oh, but this needs to be down. Okay. No, I don't want the eyeball. I wanted me purse. Oh, I have to do that. Wait, what? Why is it when I pushed my eyeball I left? Did I not do it? I can't remember. Oh, so is it because I need to, oh, it's because, is it because I need to do? Ventilation squirrel, squ squirrel. I won't touch it. I can pattern myself. I'm just confused about the chemical mixture. Like I see what I'm supposed to do. But I'm not sure, like, what I'm supposed to push. It's like N166 with fire. Goes into this one. But am I missing something? I still don't know how to open this. No, that doesn't change anything. supposed to be but I feel like I've missed like I like always in this game I've like missed one little thing the door's closed maybe it can open it later okay Can I open it? No. Did I come through this door? Earlier? Oh, okay. It's not even open in this. Pour out me the. Let me see what he has to say. Sir, can you tell me again what I was supposed to do? Sure. Get the water pump working and the fuel mix. Just follow the wall. Wall new walls. It's like a manual, but on the wall. Yeah, okay, I got that, but I'm not sure. Like, I'm kind of confuzzled about the um, how to get them to move. I don't, I don't 
don't read manuals in real life either. I literally will just wing it until I get it. that I would combine. That's one thing that keeps getting me in this game is I keep having like you can't combine them at one point but then all of a sudden you can. Like for instance when we were in the other universe or reality you couldn't combine the crayon with the exterminator's card until after you triggered something. And I kind of feel like that uh, keeps getting me at times. Lots of it, lots of it, lots of it. Because that is supposed to go there. can't do this until I do that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, frick! I hate that I keep pushing back on that one. Let me look at this. I Let me do this real quick. I, I might... I might need to do something here. That was supposed to be that way. Oh, okay, I got that. I was missing this, but I don't know if that has anything to do with the chemical mixture now. No. But I got this figured out. I just didn't realize I didn't have this one pushed over. I did this and I did that and I did that and I did that, but I forgot to push that. Okay, so what I'm stuck on is I don't understand this. I've got the N166 in this bottle and the fire on. I understand I'm supposed to put R15 into this one, but I don't know how you get to that. Like N166 is in here and it's burning, but I don't see anything in my inventory to put in there. And I already put these in there, so I'm not really sure if I've missed like a button somewhere. An AFM is missing, but what's the AFM? I'm thinking maybe I have to put something in there, but I don't know what to put in there. I already tried the berries and that won't work. Can I combine these? No, I thought I was like, we're gonna cut a piece of berry off. Yeah, I see, I see all that. Like I've got all the bottles. And I've put the one N166 in this one. And I know I see that this is R15, 2PF, A18. These will go into these bottles, but I don't... I try, it won't let me, but I don't know. That's kind of what I thought too. 
This one right here? I don't think I can put them over here. No. Won't go in that one. But I don't see anything to like combine? Like I tried cutting a berry off. I thought I was gonna cut like one berry off and put it in there, but no. I still don't know what this is. Use Palantris's box. The one with the yellow. The. Oh, this one? Oh, the green one! I put the berries in with the green one. I thought it would go in that! Okay, well, we got that one. But what'd that do? <laughs> I got the berries in the last one. Was I just reading that wrong? Oh, I was reading it wrong. For some reason, I kept thinking it was this one. No, it's okay. It's okay. It might look a little weird on stream, too, because sometimes the colors just come across weird. I have noticed. Okay, well, we put the berries in there, but the next thing is how do we get the chemical mixtures to do their thing? That is the next question. Cause I, I can't like click the bottle. Yeah, the next flask, blah, 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 flask over, A18 goes into according to the pick. Yeah, I don't know how to get it into that one though. Can I just click it now? No, that just puts it in this one. That's what I'm kind of confused is how to get it over here. I thought there was like a button to push and be like, NEXT FLASK! That needs to be that and that way, but I don't think that has anything to do with it, does it? No, that doesn't do anything. Tis what I'm struggling with. always in this game it's always something so simple like when we were stuck trying to find our way into the into the um bar or whatever that place was called it was like a stupid little like pile of wood that i didn't push over for mr midnight to get in that was all i was missing in that one and then like the dancer shoes one it was all i had to do was push the time thing really fast and it went by this one, I know there's like something so simple I'm missing to get something into this flask. Like, I understand what this is saying. Except for I was just dumb and for some reason trying to put the berries in this one. Don't know why I was doing that. But how do you get R15 over there? And it's not a reality thing, like going into my pills and going there. It's weird because you just pick up the bottles over there. Yeah. I, 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 I know. It should be something so simple like click this and put it in there or pick up the bottle and put it in there. But no, you can't. All you have to do is click and drag. Just like IRL. All you have to do is click and drag and put it in there. I told you guys something so simple is always the thing that stumps me. I thought it was just gonna do something else. Okay, fine, we got it. You actually do just pick up the 
thing for the bottle. Uh, oh, it's an R15 2PF. Oh my god. R15 2PF A18. Okay. Now I've done that. What's the next step? <laughs> I know! It's an eyedrop! I don't even see it! Because for this one, all you had to do... Was literally just do that. I thought, okay, all right, all right. Now, what am I doing wrong now, though? What's this red one mean? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I always do. Why do I keep doing that? You can pick up the damn bottles. Okay. Do these colors mean anything? They must mean something because... Maybe. I've got, see, blue goes that way, red goes that way. No, I got the valves turned the right way. I think I'm supposed to put something in these. See how it says, like, R15 and it shows an arrow going over to A18? And then it shows a blue arrow to this one, an orange arrow to this one, and then two green arrows to that one. Like, it didn't automatically go in there, so I'm thinking I have to push something, or put something in those as well. Let me see. No. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, did those change? Okay, now I got them in the bottles. Now... Can I stir him? <laughs> so there has to be a pipe you are missing that connects the A18 and R15? Maybe. Yeah, because these aren't connected. I wonder where it would be, though. Here it is. universe that I did not pick up. Okay, so we've got that. So here we go. We got this guy who goes... Oops, not there. He goes somewhere. There it goes. Alright, we got that! We got the... Okay, so we're missing one more hose! I think. I think. We found this hose, we found that hose, there's one there. I think we're missing this one? I think 
is what it's trying to tell me. There's something here. Because we don't have anything going here. There we go. What do the little button things do in between? I, I tried pushing those, but yeah, there's they don't do anything. I thought that was how you actually changed, like, bottle to bottle. But yeah, they don't, they, they're not, they're, they're just there for decoration. I miss, yeah, I'm missing the bottle one, so we need to go back and find it. I didn't even realize. I thought this was like a combination it was trying to tell me. Like, if you put R15 into A18, you will get this one, and that's needs an actual thing to connect it. I'm missing this connection, though. Here it is. Found it! I didn't even realize that that's what it was trying to tell me. Break. There we go! See? We gotta put our collective minds together to get it. And it was like I said, as always, it's something very simple. Missing an item or just misreading it. Like, I didn't realize I could pick these up. I thought I had to just click them. Alright, we got it! For Ran! I finally managed to fix the automatic driver. Do you need help? Now you ask? I needed help like half an hour ago, it word. <laughs> Way to go, thank you. Thank you again. Collective effort. I just didn't pick up everything in the other reality, which was weird because I picked up everything in the other rooms in the realities. But that's just how it be. I think I managed myself quite well too. No, 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 we, we, it's always the we. I did all you asked for me. Very well, Fran. Everything seems to be working perfectly. Yes. Everything looks absolutely great. What should we do now, sir? Well, I wanted to ask you if you were afraid of rabbits. No. There's a little rabbit in one of the rooms, and I'm... I'm deeply afraid of it. Would you like to help me get rid of it? No, we can keep it. Can we keep it as a pet? A rabbit? I guess it depends on the rabbit, sir. With all things I've seen, I can't just imagine one kind of rabbit. Is it a chocolate rabbit? Or one with horns and killer eyes? You'll have to see it for yourself. It has a pink nose and blue boots. Well, he sounds cute. He sounds adorable. I know! <laughs> a little late jackass is what I said! He pops in like, do you need some help? No, sir. I finally got it! We finally got it! You were no help, Mr. Itward. It's just sitting there. No blinking, no movement. It's staring all this time. Sounds menacing. It does sound very scary, sir. But show it to me. Otherwise, I'll never know. Brave you are, dear. Follow me now. Alright. It's through this door. Oh, this guy right here? Oh, he's behind me. Oh. Oh, can I do this? Oh, I don't have anything. That's just my VTuber. Here, just a second. It's behind me. There we go. So it's right here. He's afraid of this little thing. I'm going to keep my camera off for just a second until um, I see if there's anything else here. Uh, there. See? It's just sitting there. Isn't that strange behavior? It's just a toy. From what I see, it's just a toy, sir. It won't move. Would you please try to make contact with it? I don't want to touch it. I don't dare to touch it. I mean. All right, sir. I'll take the rabbit and show you there's nothing to be afraid of. I love his little face. He's like, oh my god, there's a rabbit. Actually, I am going to stop right there for one sec before we go on because I do need to go. Um, let me put my camera back on. I do need to go um, start my dinner real quick. 
And then we will come back and finish this. But I had to turn my camera off there for just one sec so you guys can see the adorable ba uh, rabbit that Edward was afraid of. Um, but I am going to step away for just a few minutes. Um, give me like maybe five minutes. I just have to put everything for dinner into my crock pot and start it. So I will be back here in a few moments.
right, I am back. Dinner is all started and cooked, or cooking, I guess, and everything, so we can get back to our game. I was reading through chat. I actually did not know what that was, Brad, but I have seen that, but I haven't seen it enough to recognize it. But I do, I have seen that. Oh, that's, yeah, that's what it is. That is what it is. Like I said, I've only seen that movie like maybe once or twice, possibly three times because it, my parents love it. But I just, I don't have the greatest of memory sometimes, but I kind of, it's all coming back to me though now that you say it's from that scene. I have a stuffed animal of an evil bunny. I love it. I don't have a bunny anymore. I want an evil bunny. I want an evil bunny stuffed animal. I just love how in this game so far, I need to fix my VTuber because I'm all sideways. Um, I just love how in this game, the guy's like, there's an evil buddy over there. And he's just like the cutest little thing ever. Okay, let me mute, mute the music. You, you want to find a bunny here? So it did, it does. I'm fighting, like I said, here, I'll show you guys one more time because bl I'm blocking it. Just like I can get over my OBS. I want this. This most evilest of bunny in the entire world sitting right here. We apparently are going to have to take care of for Mr. Itward because he's apparently terrified of it. All right, I am back. All right, so let's see what do we do. What do we have to do with this evil bunny? Let's walk over to it. See? It's just a fluffy rabbit. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, you're right, Fran. There's nothing to be afraid of. <gasps> what? Don't go, Mr. Midnight! Wait, what? Don't go! Mr. Midnight, this is not funny! He stole my cat. I trusted this it word and he stole my cat. So far, I have not seen a Monty Python movie that I haven't liked. True. I have not I have not seen one that I haven't liked as well. I haven't seen them as many times. Like, I've only seen them, all the ones I have seen. I think I've seen most of them. I may have missed one or maybe two. I don't know. But the, everything I've ever seen from them, I've never not liked. He took my, he took my kitty cat. See, it was a trap. Oh, I got a carrot. <laughs> Tasty carrot! So he wa he probably was not really afraid of the bunny. He was just pulling my leg so he could steal my cat. Three. Oh no! Not those again! I don't need more carrots. I already have one. Oh, I just was going to read the same. Okay. So far I picked up a carrot and a wrench. A tool, I think it's called a wrench. And then a carrot from it where it's mechanical guard. Oh, that's a mechanical carrot? Lovely plants, you give oh you give a lot of air for me to breathe. I love this top hat right here. I want it. Hello! Are you Itward's other head? I like the hat. Itward made a paper boat. These bulbs don't know whether to stay off or on. Pencil. Nope. So there's a puzzle right here, I'm assuming. One. To get out of here. I just need to figure out what I'm doing. Oh! A battery! Thanks! I was just pushing buttons. Oh, okay. He's not just gonna give it to me. What a lovely little tree. I know it looks like a cherry blossom tree. Still behind me, but... Oh, why did you scare Itward? Anyways, you are very cute. I don't think he really scared him. I think he was just pulling our leg. So these numbers have to do with something. Okay. It looks like the machine needs some energy to wake up. Okay. Okay. A mechanical arm? Are you alive? I think he likes to push buttons. 
Okay, that makes sense. Button made the floor rise like an elevator. Oh, it's coming back down now. Okay, so I'm just pushing everything to see what's going on. It won't turn on. What should I do? Okay. The red light is on. Maybe something is broken. Maybe there is no power to make it work. Okay. I see. I see. There is a puzzle, but I just, I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> this is a tree. Good observation there, Fran. All right. So there's, n there's numbers. Which makes me think I'm supposed to do these like in an order. Like here's one, grab the battery. Two is do something with that. Three, use the carrot. Four, something with the store. Five, something over here maybe? That's the only thing I can think of why there's numbers everywhere. Okay, you had to be fast about that one. That's kind of what I thought. Um, so I found a battery. So do I put the battery maybe somewhere? Negative. Oh, nuts and bolts. Oh, I probably, maybe I have to take the panel off. Oh, ha. Huh. I actually had to move it. Ta -da! Ta -da! Okay, it's open. So let's put the battery in there. There you go, battery place. And yes, it works. Actually, really quickly, I didn't actually go into this reality with my pills. Ah, <laughs> okay, now it's a scary bunny. Now it's a little bit of a scary bunny. Thank you for petting Sally, SK's mom. Ooh, a mechanical rabbit. It's not very cute. Ah, uh, nonsense. He's adorable. Maybe the rabbit is angry or hungry or both. Gonna have to give him the carrot, I think. Why did you scare Edward? I'm seeing if there's anything different. Because, see, these now have different numbers. So I'm assuming I have to come back to this reality after I do one, two, three, four, five. I see how it's showing me arrows to things. All right, let me see if there's anything else to do here. So I've done that to power this. Let's turn this now. Okay, what did this do? Oh, it took me up. That's right. All right, let's go up here. <laughs> Is that supposed to be my mom and dad? Is that supposed to be my mom and dad? I am not. No, I haven't got to really play around with it yet. I I installed it like a week or so ago, or well, it was probably two weeks ago now because last week was um last week was Thanksgiving, but. I installed it and I had no idea what I was doing and I need to go and watch the tutorial video that they posted with the program to figure out what the heck I was doing. Cause all I figured out was how to import my model. <laughs> but I do really want to work with it more cause it looked like an amazing program. It really did. I just, when I first loaded into it and I wasn't really in the mood to actually be learning something at that time. I just loaded in and put it in my VTuber and that's all I got around to doing because I couldn't figure out how to work it. But I also didn't watch the video that they posted with it either. So that's the next thing I need to do is go watch that tutorial video. Hello? There's nobody in there. Is this to make music for, oh, with the wind? Let's see what this does. Are you? Oh dear. I was probably supposed to 
come up here in not my pill form so that this wasn't so grim the first time we walked up here? Mommy? Daddy? Who did this to you? Oh, wait, I might not be in my pill form. Never mind. Oh, yeah, yeah, never mind. I'm done. Back to here. Teapot. A teapot water thrower. This is a something. This is a massive and dangerous weapon. A water symbol. I guess this is connected to something. Okay, so I assume I kind of pop, put water in there. To do something with this, but it doesn't even feel like this is something I can do now. This is locked. I reset button. How? Oh, how practical. <laughs> Knocking on the door won't help. It's still locked. Okay, I don't know what that is right this second. I don't. Can I go back down? I don't even know if I'm supposed to be up here. Okay, I can. I think I have to do this later. 100% join the Discord for assets like pre-made nodes, graphs, and throwable droppables and props. <gasps> well, Christmas crackers, I wasn't expecting that, right? <laughs> okay, I will definitely do that. Like I said, I just, I, I got the program, I loaded up the program, I looked at it, and then I wasn't really in the mood at the time I did it to do anything, so I was just like, all right, I'll come back to that, and then I just haven't got around to it because then the holidays came and everything. But I am definitely looking forward to it because it looked freaking amazing. But I will definitely join the Discord and then I also need to watch, like I said, that video they put out with the program. That I saw that was there and I just never watched. Yeah, this game will surprise you like that every once in a while. And, um, give you interesting things like that. So, okay, we've got... I don't know what I'm supposed to do up there. This is a water symbol, so I'm kind of thinking I need to get water somehow. And I think I have to get the carrot to that bunny in the other reality this says number three which was carrots let me go see if I can give this to the bunny carrot for the big big robot rabbits Was I supposed to do something while he was eating that? Oh, no. I, maybe I was supposed to be doing something. <laughs> I was just, like, waiting for him to finish his carrot. Let me grab another one of these. My bad. So, let me see. Carrot. Does these do anything now? That's eight. Let me push these buttons. Oh, wait, that really just takes me back up. Okay, just one second. Nope, I don't want to be down here, up here. Are there? Okay, good. Cause like I said, I opened it up and it, it looked exactly like VC face, like the whole program itself. But I was trying to like get things to work and nothing was working. So I was like, okay, I. I'm missing a step or something, or I'm missing things in the program that I just need to look at or better educate myself with. Okay, so I need to give him this carrot. I know that, but I'm just not sure what I'm supposed to be doing while he's eating the carrot. Wait, why is this bunny all fancy now? They weren't fancy before. I'm kind of curious. What happens if I feed him the carrot and then I leave? Absolutely nothing. All right, so there's something with the carrot. I did one, I did two. Three is the carrot. Mr. Midnight, say something. Please don't take my kitty away from me again. I hate how when you come into this reality, 
it it like it's blurry for a second because it really messes with my eyes. Oh, it is like VC face, but you need VC face as well. Okay, so it's it needs VC. Oh, okay, I get it now. I didn't have I don't think VC face open when I was playing around with it. I literally just opened the program. I was like, okay, what do I do? Because I thought it was like a standalone program that was gonna replace VC face, but you need VC place to make it work. Uh, VC face to make it work as well. Because that would make sense why nothing was working for me. <laughs> when I just opened the program, I'm like, hello, why is nothing working? And I was just like, all right, I'll give up for now because I wasn't in the mood. Eyeball points to the carrot and this. I don't know. I don't see how to get this to click this one now to open that if that's even a thing. What else do I have in my pocket? Snine. Wait a minute. These are both eight. Oh, eight to the left and eight to the right. Okay. So that's going to mean something. Yes. Oh, okay. So no wonder it wasn't really working for me. I just didn't have that program open. So I'll have to, um, I'll have to play with it around tomorrow if I can, or tonight maybe. And see if I can actually figure out how it works. Because it looked like an amazing program. Like, I was, I knew I was going to love it. I just need to take the time to look into it more. supposed to be doing when he's eating the carrots. I got an achievement for that, though. I see it pointing to things, but I'm not sure, like, when he's eating. Like, nothing happens when they... Let me go back to this reality real quick. Okay, I need to maybe move that. Just a minute. I think that's what was wrong. Oh wait, that doesn't have anything now. Woofage! I thought that was it! I thought I just had to move the button. Cause it shows up. Can I give him the carrot? Oh, nope. <laughs> I tried to give the carrot to the mechanical device. Use carrot with plants. No, I don't want to use the carrot with this. Because I've already done that. No, nah, that's not what I thought. I like how after this happened, she didn't really have. 
have much to say about it other than that happened. Okay, that just moves the teapot. What if I'm supposed to move this teapot? But I don't know what that would do. Why would moving the teapot do anything? Do I have a carrot? Nah, I already have one. What's confusing me though is I, if I'm if I'm reading this correctly, I'm supposed to go one, two, three, four, five. But after I grab three, which is the carrot. I assumed I was supposed to go over and give the carrot to the other rabbit, but then I just don't see what I'm supposed to do when I'm over there. What does this eyeball on the wall mean? I was trying to give him the carrot, and I was trying to be really fast about it, and I didn't even give him the carrot. Huh. I just don't get it. Which is, like, normal with this game. I don't get, like, any of it. Because I see eyeball! This eyeball's pointing to that. What is it pointing to over here, though? It's what I'm confused about. Oh, anyway, combine. I need to feed him the carrot again. What is this pointing to? Oh god, games, don't do that! There's nothing there. Am I supposed to give it something?
I'm gonna take apart the bunny. I'm gonna disassemble him and he be gone. No, I can't turn that when I'm in this reality. So that's not it. Uh, open the door! I like how she just says that. Okay, I got that. I don't know. Oh! <laughs> I like how I was trying to push the button and then get off really fast and the game didn't like that. So it picked me up by my head and pulled me up here. I like that. That I'm supposed to be doing too. Oh, what if I was ch if I could change that in the other reality? No, that makes no sense. change every time I come over here. Every time I come into this reality, this bunny has something different on. And I know you guys can't see it because I'm blocking it, but now he's got like a little red hood on. up and nothing changes when he's like eating. Good thing he has endless carrots. pick up again like I, last time I had to just pick up some something all right I officially give up
Wait, is that... Can you do that? Does this mean there's water in there? No, that's not what that means. Okay, I was reading something somebody said on live, but I thought... I must have read it wrong. Oh, with water from the teapot? Water would like. No, that's not what I wanted. A teapot thrower. This is a massive, dangerous weapon. I thought it was gonna be something in the future where this teapot was gonna like fend off enemies. Not that I actually had the water or get water with it. Okay, well I got water. I was kind of watching from the kitchen trying to see if I knew while the tacos were finishing. No worries, no worries. I can go look it up. So it says, next when you're down at the bottom floor of where you're trapped, you'll see numbered cards, y'all, which you switch, when you switch into pill mode, these cards will have new numbers on them and arrows pointing either left or right. Feed the robot rabbit a carrot to see the one hidden behind him. Organize the regular cards in order. Organize the regular... Here's the regular cards in order one, two, three, four, five, and match up their numbers with the pill mode numbers. This is the combina oh, this is the combination of the hatch of the top level. Wait, there's a combination there? I see nothing other than a little button. Unless these are like one, two, three, four. Cause yeah, I see like the wait, where do you go? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, so I'm the feeding the bunny is literally just to see the card behind him. It's not even like another puzzle. So it's five. supposed to be going in like an order or something all right this game is way too complicated for me <laughs> this is a game where i've enjoyed it but it's too complicated and i haven't liked it as much as i thought i was gonna like the game it's not a bad game but i'm just not as enjoying it as much as i was anticipating so okay so one is oh i get it so one is eight times to the left who in the well someone's probably smart enough to figure that out but who the hell would have figured that out eight that way two was this oh, i need another carrot oh sorry I gotta feed you the carrot no, give bunny carrots. Okay, I see what it is. It's like one of those um, locks where you twist and turn and all that. Where was four? This one? Okay, I see what it is. I just need to write this crap down because there is no way I'm remembering all this. So 
So one. Do I have a carrot? No. I think this was like five. I just don't remember because I was trying to remember them. And then five that way. That's why there's two eights. Six that way. Nine, whoopsie. Nine that way, okay. <laughs> no, you're doing fine. You're doing totally fine. I'm trying my best to get them on my own and it ain't happening. Like this one, I think I've got it now that I read what it is, but I would have never thought that these were actually a combination to the thing upstairs. I would have never thought about that. I thought it was like one, two, three, do them in this order, which I was kind of right. I mean, I got them done in those orders. I thought you had to feed the bunny a carrot for like, it, to distract him. But no, he was just hiding a piece of paper. Cause that's my biggest thing too, I think, is sometimes I just overthink things. I'll be sitting here thinking the puzzle is so much more complicated. So I think this is how it goes. Eight that way. Five that way. Eight that way. Six that way. It's like one of those, uh, I don't know what they're called, locks where you twist and turn them. That was what that all was. I would have never ever in a million years thought that those notes went to that. Oh no, Maddie, what are you doing? Why are you sitting in front of chat? All right, well, we got that open. Thanks to... Uh, Steam. <laughs> it's literally where I found it. But we are going to go down the hatch now, because I think we finished everything up here. Oh, I thought there was going to be a cutscene. He's dark. I don't see very well. It's quite dark. I don't... I don't have a Oh, a match, maybe? Use the match with myself. I clicked my other screen. <laughs> Excuse me! Well, now what the hell do I do? Oh, push a button. Surprise, friend! Happy birthday! What? You made me go through all that hell just to throw me a birthday party? Oh, a birthday party. Whoa, I thought you wanted to kill Mr. Midnight. You lied to me! We lied to you in order to keep your attention in another direction. Well, you kept my attention there for quite a while. I'm very sorry I had to fool you, my friend. We wanted to surprise you, my dear friend. Come and eat cake! Alright, thank you, kitty. You really surprised me! And thank you, itward, sir. That's not cake, that's a cupcake. The cake is made of all ingredients you like. Mr. Midnight told me which ones. And we have something very special for you from all members of the ship. That means all of us naturally born or handmade beings. Here you go. I hope you'll find it educational. 
Wow, I love the wrapping. Can I open it now, please? Yes, go ahead and open it. Okay, open present. Oh my god, so cute! Wow, a cat doll. Doll. Oh, thank you so much. I love it. It's beautiful. I want one of those. It may give your eyes a new perception. You know, like the ultra reality. Is that what happens when I take the red pill, sir? Is the ultra reality what I see? Well, it depends. Would you like some explanation? Yes. Please. Look, what you've seen is a mixture of different realities. And the ultra reality is like an invisible room where everything exists at the same time. For example, at this exact coordinates of time and space, we're having a birthday party. But in the ultra reality, other things are happening all the time. Slower, faster, or just invisible to the human eye. It's because of time, humans can define past, present, and future. Defining things encapsulates reality. It gives humans a chance to understand their environment. You have a different perception of the environment. It's not linked to definitions. Do you understand what I said? I'm not sure, sir. I think, maybe, I feel a bit dizzy. Kind of what I was thinking. Not exactly do I understand everything he said, but it kind of made sense. Ah, ha <laughs> Maybe the ship going up and down. Well, that's probably true, too. Blow out the candles now, dear. We are about to reach our destination. You mean we are about to get home? Did you hear that, Kitty? Yes, we are about to arrive. He never says the home. Really? Wow, how exciting! Alright, here I go! <sighs> now it's all dark. Well, that didn't sound good. Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Oh, bye. Oh dear, what's happening? Mr. Midnight, are you alright? I'm alright, but I hope the ship won't break. It sounds dangerous. Fran, you have to help. I have to drive the machine again. The automatic driver was destroyed by the Kamalas. There's one left alive. You have to get rid of it. Find it fast. How do I do that, sir? Water. Oh, I got that. That that cleans the dirt. Hurry up now. Remember, it may be hiding from your eyes. Oh my goodness, Kitty. I'm scared. Me too, Fran. We have to find the Kamala. I really hope the water destroys it. <gasps> Let's go! Are you in here at my birthday party? Nope, still the twins being their freaky selves. Did we see them anywhere, actually? I hate that. I hate that one so much. There he is. Here, take some water. Get out of here. I love it. Ah, oh, don't run away. Where are you going? You left some goo behind. He went up. Um, should I get out of this rea- You okay, Mr. Midnight? Oh, Fran, we should get rid of the Kamala. Looks like he's just taking a nap. Oh, he's up. Did I do it? Please, sir, I need your help. I can't help now, Fran. I had to co concentrate. I'm trying to reconnect. I'm driving the machine. I don't know how to get rid of it. I think it's just going to tell me the water. Yeah. Okay, so that just tells me the water. I'm assuming he disappeared from me and I gotta go get more water. My bucket's gone, though! Please don't move. I have to pour some water on you. But I don't have my bucket. Where have- What happened with my bucket? 
Oh god, not this room. Get me out of here. I hate this room. A water symbol, I guess it's kind of Yeah! Okay, but where'd my bucket go? Can I throw my cat at it? Oh! I was just looking to see if that was something, but my kitty has a keyhole. Maddie is sitting right in front of chat. I think she's trying to tell you guys hi. Oops, that's not what I wanted. That, uh, I don't want to be in there anymore. Did I, like, lose? How did I lose my bucket? Sir. Sir, I lost my bucket. This boat is confusing. I've got around it a circle. <laughs> there, this is where I was trying to get to. No. Ooh. Okay, I need, how do I put water on him now though? Oh yeah, that's the flip book. Oh, that's probably nothing. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, never mind. Edward and Kitty are the best. Muffins, cake and orange juice. Oh, wait a minute. Can I have this key? Oh, no. I don't want to watch it. No. <laughs> I was trying to get the key from that for my kitty. Oh, I didn't want to eat the pills. She's not... Oh, no. She's smiling now. Maddie, I can't read chat. You're sitting right in the way. Uh huh. <laughs> I like that. Please don't move. I have to pour some water on you. I still don't know what this is. Wait, wait, goodbye. That, 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 that. No. I'm Maddie. Try the teapot! Sorry. <laughs> I need to move my cat because she's right in my way. I I turned the teapot. I didn't know how to It it says a teapot water thrower. But I can't figure- how do I get the teapot to throw water? I guess it's connected to something. It's connected to the teapot. Like, right there. Right there. We'll get him. Oh! Oh, I thought that was a hose. My bad! I thought that was a hose. Got him! Sir. Sir. See, it was a thrower. I just didn't realize I needed that earlier either. I think I finally got rid of the Kamala. I'm the best. I should go back to Itward. I thought that was a hose sticking out. <laughs> I walk in. Let me move my cat. I can't see chat. <laughs> Come here, Maddie. We love you. We love you, but I have to read chat. Let me go back up and read. That is so creepy. How's it going, Walk? 
talking. So I wasn't ignoring you guys. I was trying to see past my cat and I could not. Reminds me of the movie. <gasps> no, I haven't seen that yet. I saw the preview and the preview itself scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Thank you, Brad, for giving Walken a shout out. Thank you, SK's mom. That, that, that was all on you. Because I, well, I didn't realize that was a lover. It looked like a hose. It looked like a hose. Okay, so now my cat's sitting on me. All right, I'm going to slowly, there, you can sit there if you want, Maddie. You can sit right there. All right, let me get out of pill form and let's go back to Itward. I hope you've been doing a good walking. I have moved my cat so I can now see chat. Um, he was through this door, right? It worked, sir! We did it! Finally! She said we! The Kamala is gone. It's gone? Yeah. Oh, wait, sorry. It's gone? Yes. But it's too late, dear. I can't take you home. Oh, you suck. We are going down! No, please, don't tell me this! It's not fair! Not fair! I will always take care of you, my dear. Oh no, we're going down! Oh, that's probably the end of chapter, uh, part one of chapter four now. And the ship was going down until it crashed. Everything was destroyed. Incoming! The end. <laughs> Well, I know there's more to this game. Oh, but this is a very sad ending, Edward. Tell me another story, please. All right, this is the story of Fran, Bo, and me. When she promised never to forget me or about the magic of everything. Hee hee hee, I promise, Edward, I'll never forget you. Good, now it's time to sleep. So she did forget him, though. This is like, I think, before. Expect me in your dreams, my friend. This was like before uh, she, her parents, passed. Chapter 4, Part 2. Doctor's Prescription. Alright, we'll go through this. Oh, I love this doctor. It looks like a deer. All right, something gonna happen? Oh, okay. I was like, do I have to push something? It word? All right, let me read the chat. I'm doing good and an easy day at work, so overall it's not too bad of a Monday. That is never bad when Monday is easy. I loved easy Mondays for sure. <laughs> How's it even treating you? Not too bad, not too bad. It's been a good day, been stumped a few times by the puzzles. We figured out one on our own. The last one I had to look up because I don't know what the hell that puzzle was. Uh, that was like the most complicated thing ever. I would have never in a million years guessed that. Frustrated me for a few minutes, but we got there. We got it figured out. But I'm glad your Monday has been pretty easy and it's going well. Other than also my cat deciding to want to join stream there and block you guys for a few minutes. Everything's going well. All right, I'm trying, she's sitting on the arm of my chair right now, so I'm trying to like not knock her off. My kitty too is being a pain. <laughs> Ow, kitty, we are alive. We survived the crash. Oh dear. Yes, we are alive. Hmm, but Edward is gone. Is this supposed to be like part of a ship or whatever you want to call it? But he brought us home. We are outside the town, Fran. I can smell it. <laughs> but are you sure, Kitty? Are we already home? I thought you would be happier about it. What is it? It's just that I wonder where Itward is. I wish I could have said, or I wish I could say goodbye. Maybe you can take the medica uh, medicine to see him again. Yes, Kitty. But I took all the pills already, you see. Oh no, the bottle is empty. 
Anyways, let's go home. Maybe Edward will come to see me someday. Oh no! My pills. A red bicycle. Is this Edward's bicycle or mine? Anyways, it's broken so I can't ride it. I would need Edward to fix it. He had a lot of tools, but he is gone! Anything else to click before I move on? Oh. Monsieur Midnight. Oh my goodness, this is our street, Kitty! Hayes Street, huh? Yes, it is. Is this my home? Anything else to click? Nope. Just this, looks like. It says, Hey Street! Then my house is in this direction! Or in that direction, excuse me. And here we are! This looks much more gray than I remembered. <laughs> well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. Well, wait, what's he gonna say? At least we're at home, Kitty. Thank you for helping me, my friend. Well, this ain't the end, because I know there's one more chapter of this game. We did it together, my darling. Oh, I thought that was going to be something. Nope, just walking into my house. Oh, that's the window to my room. The curtains are waving like a flag. Then my house is like a castle. Oh, I forgot to look at Discord. Uh, like a Thirsta's castle. A closed window. No monsters hiding behind it. I can't click all this. The flowers are quite dead. Too bad. I hope it rains. Oh, same. Uh, maybe I could plant some flowers soon. I remembered Kitty getting stuck on the plant holder. <laughs> Poor Mr. Midnight. I can't see inside. It's very dark inside. This probably says the exact same thing. Oh, look at the pretty flowers! Oh! Oh, sorry, little insects, don't run away! <laughs> I just clicked it because I thought it was cute. Can I click the worm? No. I'm free of the insects! Oh. Ugh, no key. What is this? A note. I took the key! Sign Fran. Fran? That's me! Oh, no. But I haven't taken the key, and I didn't write that note. This is all so confusing. What should I do now? Um, pry the door open with the knife. Can I climb this? No, I want to. I want to climb this to my window to get inside. I don't know what this is. I also needed a key for me, kitty. And I still need a combination for this. Okay, so there's a, I'm missing like a key or something. I, t I was trying to climb this to get on the roof. Wait, can I just? I'm Grace, hello, let me eat. Maybe she's not at home, dear. Do you have the key to go inside? No, I don't have a key, but I know there's a hidden key somewhere. I already do know that. I just remember where. No, no, I have the key, but what do I have? Oops, wait, no, I want to combine. I'll try that. I don't want to open the key. I have to find. Okay, I know, I have to find the key. Where would the key be, though? I don't see there being anything like over here I'd have to do. And I can't go any farther. Oh, okay, come here, Kitty. You must climb and go through the window. That's what I was trying to do. But sometimes Mr. Midnight does not cooperate. I couldn't find the key. It seems that I already took it. You already took the key, but you don't have it. That sounds very strange. Yes, it's very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. But now, in order to get inside, Kitty, you must climb and open the door for me. Ugh. Alright then, wish me luck. 
You can do it, kitty! Be careful. See, I had the right idea. Either the game, I just didn't trigger it in the right order or something. Mr. Midnight! Do you hear me? Kitty? Open the door! Oh no, the doctor. Fran? I can't believe this. You are alive! Where were you? Get away from me! Get away from me! I won't go back to the asylum. I've been looking for you... I've been looking for you a long time now. How did you escape? None of your business. I could tell him through the yellow door, but I like to be sarcastic when it comes to the asylum people. That's none of your business. Leave now, please. Hmm. But why are you outside the house? I'm waiting for Mr. Midnight to open it. Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now. He climbed and went through the window of the second floor, sir. Mr. Midnight? Isn't that your missing cat? Yes, but we found each other in the end. Sir? May I ask, why are you here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not at home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me then. No! I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Fran, I don't believe your cat is inside the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. He is inside. He will open the door in a minute. Stop it, Fran. Face reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. This guy is an asshole. No, no. Let go of me! Mr. Midnight! No! <laughs> Watch you open the door right now. Fran, I got it. Oh, never mind. They're creepy characters. Oh, do I have to interact with this? Sneer. Oh, sorry, I had to click it. I'm sorry, Fran. I don't want to hurt you or scare you. Too late. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about it? This feels so wrong. You know, Fran, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. I have found things that I do not understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Family murdered on Hay Street. The bodies were perfectly sliced. <laughs> Ugh. I'll read this in a minute. Let's read this first. Uh, dear Gladys, let the, newspaper, let the newspaper know about Frambo. She was found in the woods, frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding, finding about her parents' murder. Beloved Frambo, 1217 of 34, 722 of 44. Fran is now free from all the pain. We hope you reunite with your family in heaven. Martin and Lucia Bo Dagenhart were found early this week brutally murdered in their residence on Hay Street. The investigating police officer, Marco Huma, Huma said, It seems that the bodies were perfectly sliced, which would cause a quick, instantaneous death. I'm assuming like that image we saw. Uh, also, there was no signs of a struggle in the house, so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise and were unable to fight back. The police interrogated Grace Dagenhart, Lucia's twin sister. Huh. Uh, but the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest in the family, Fran Bo, was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder. She froze to death. I'm not dead, sir. This is all lies. I see that. I also found out that your medicine was switched. You were given a new variant of duotine. When I looked at it in the laboratory, the levels of ectoplomatin were too high. That can't be good. Ectoplomatin creates a door between the subconsciousness and the consciousness. The problem is, if the ectoplomatin is too high, the door will be too wide. And that can create a great confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain? I'm a bit confused, yes. 
But that's because of all the new things that I can see and feel. What do you mean, Fran? I can see the ultra reality, sir, and how, er, and also travel into other worlds. Ultra reality? That must be the consequences of duotine, nothing more. That is not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. All in my head, you say? Then I may be able to control it. I mean, that you are imagining things? That's all? Oh my god! This scared the hell out of me! Are you okay, sir? You look a little unwell. What the hell is this sitting behind you now? Uh, I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. Why is he saying that? I don't want my father playing with his knives again. My arm hurts. Oh, did your father harm you with knives, doctor? Wh what Who told you that? Some creepy dude in the other reality. You did. Or didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, then it's true! Oh please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who is behind all this. The nurses? Oswald? Who knows? I do know, sir. It's the big black monster, Rem Remor. He took my parents and now he haunts me. Or excuse me, hunts me. He wants me dead. Oh, I wish I stayed in Atherstead with Polantris and the Great Wizard. What are you talking about? Please, Fran, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Itward or Polantris, and my kitty is all alone! Polantris? Itward? Please, Fran. Polantris is a doctor of Atherista. He is a flying creature. Very fluffy, sir. And Itward is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. It seems you have been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw my mother and father, too. The twins? What twins? The girls that were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of the Clara and Mia case. Two girls in the asylum that claimed to see a creature named Edward or something. Edward? I think you are misunderstanding, sir. It's Edward! But what happened to these girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sewed them together. Mostly to see the reaction of the DNA, but nothing happened. Blech. A few months later, they died and their bodies were thrown into a well. That is awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you can help me. I was just gonna say, he said he was fired by the asylum, so I don't see why he would be taking her back to the asylum. Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible for all of this disgrace. Thank you, doctor. Maybe Polantris was right about you. You are not a bad doctor. You're just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight. That was actually kind of a cute little scene. Are we at a graveyard? Let's go! Uh, here we are. But this is the cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on. Follow me. Follow me. And you'll see. This is your parents' resting place. And also yours. Didn't want, didn't want to see this. Why bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, Fran. But things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. What do you mean? By right, sir. I mean that if we can find the guilty ones, we will have justice. Use the law to punish such behaviors and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir. And for what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence. We need to open the coffins. 
No, thank you. I don't want to open the coffins. So wait, if I'm there, who... No, wait. They said they found me, though. Hi, Magic! How are you? Oh, thank goodness. My cat got off my arm of my chair. Now I can actually sit properly. All right, sir. I'll help. Maybe the deadly worm came already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot about him. Who? Hmm. Anyways, we have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left. You can go right. I'll see you in a few minutes. Right here. All right. Yes, Dr. Dearn. I'll see you soon. That's left. Did he say I was going left? Apparently I'm going this way, but I was didn't even see what he said. <laughs> Thank you for all the shout outs. Let's click everything here, though. Haven't you rested it enough already? Did the beetle worm take you back to the soil? Are you coming up soon from under the ground like a zombie? All right. Well, I don't have any um pills here, so there's no other reality. Wonder what the lady has hidden between. Don't know. Wonder what the lady has hidden between her hands. Is it a little bug? No. Oh. Oh, I'm not gonna read those. I have to find a shovel to dig. Okay, yeah, I know. I was just clicking everything. He went that way, so I'm going this way. No name, no flowers. Maybe nobody is down there. But nobody likes to be dead, so that's great. I mean, she's got a point. Oh, it's stuck. This must be the shovel storage room. Just my luck. Well, there must be a way to open it. Um, I don't have a key. As always, stab it with a knife! No. Okay, apparently I gotta find a key. There's no, like, rock it could be under. I don't have anything in my inventory, so I guess I'm just gonna have to go this way. Wow, hello, stone woman. Are you sleepy? You're scary. I wish I had wings like you, but I don't. <laughs> but I don't. Okay, actually, there was nothing back here. Oh, let me get the car. Oh, crowbar. That'll work. A crowbar. I hope the doctor doesn't mind if I take this. I don't need a key. I just need a crowbar. The green... The gearbox. I wonder if it has a little secret inside. Probably not. Car seats are quite comfortable. Beep beep! I never touched a steering wheel before. Father never allowed that. I want, but now I'm on my own, so I can. Vroom vroom! I wanted it to actually go beep beep. It did not. All right, crowbar. I'm assuming I don't have to find a key. I just pry it open with my crowbar. Oh, she. Just pine cone! It's okay! I just saw a hand coming out from the door. Shh! You have to keep it down, Fabio. <laughs> Fabio. Oh, but I'm not Fabio. I'm Fran! Hello, little pine cone. Are you gonna be as mean as that one pine cone? What? Oh my goodness! A giant! Don't be scared. Don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. She does. I think I can see you because I have very big eyes, you see. Ah, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way. The tribe's collector. Tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. Right now, we're trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. <laughs> oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather? Hmm... Yes, last year we used all the human skin, but the de uh, de deadly worms wanted it back. So we are looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope you can find the leather. Erm. Um, oh, hi, Taser. 
Um, Sebastian? Would you do me a favor? Depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking that you could open the door for me from the inside. I could do that, but we can help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door. All right, giant miss. But where will I find that? Huh. All right. I'll see what I can do. I'm assuming... I'm assuming this is leather. So I just take some of the car seat. That's a big hole I made. Well, now I have leather. Sorry, doctor. I need this. All right, I have some leather. <laughs> I love these little illustrations that they have. They are so freaking adorable. Here, little pinecon, have the leather. Rat says hi, Maddie and Taser. Maddie's been up and about for a while. Taser just finally joined us. I saw when I was making dinner, though. He was hanging out. In the living room. Wow! Thank you, giant miss. Our tribe, the Pinezelus, 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 something like that, will be happy. And now I'll open the door. Just a second. Oh, it sounded like something broke. Oh no! Are you okay? Ouch! Are you all right, Sebastian? Sebastian? I'm I'm all right, miss. Yes. Good. Well, thank you. You opened the door. You're welcome, giant miss. Eh, Fabio. Uh, you got one escaping. Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio. Wait. Oh, wait. Did I say that wrong? Anyways, hey, Fabio. Wait for me. I have the leather. Oh, that was Fabio. That's what was going on. Hi, Blight! <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> Thank you, Magic, so much for giving Blight a shout out. How have you been? Oh, there's Taser. As soon as he comes in, he'll bark. Huh, there's nothing in here I could use. This is not wonderful at all. I need to find something to dig with. I can't dig with a broom. Nonsense. Might take a long time, but you could do it. Okay, so what was the whole point of that then? If I open this and I actually can't use anything. Oh, never mind. The doctor found one. There you are, Fran. Look, I found us a pair of shovels. Let's dig. Because I was just getting ready to say, okay, what was the whole point of that? Must be maybe something later, or it's just kind of a cute little scene with the pine cones. Oh, I'm moving some stuff into the new apartment. Ooh, exciting. Exciting, stressful, and everything, all that comes with moving. How's it going? Everything going okay, though? Moving going smooth? I hope so. I hope so, because moving can be very stressful and hard work. <laughs> Thank you for the shovel. I dig to. Well, now we'll have to come up with something to open the coffins. They're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car. I had a crowbar in my car just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I needed to open a door. Do you want it back? No need, Fran. But you can do the honors of opening the coffins. All right, sir. I'll open them. I don't really want to open them. I don't want to see what's in these. I'm kind of curious, though, what's in my coffin if I'm standing here. Moving a few boxes at a time, but yeah, it's fun so far. Honestly, when I moved a um, couple years ago, it actually wasn't bad. If you do it, like, in stages and not are pressured to be like, everything has to go now and everything has to move, you know, fast. It's actually not too bad. When we moved, all we did was just like 
we got the keys to our house on like a Friday, I think. And then like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we just kind of gradually moved things each day. And then by Sunday we were done and it wasn't really that stressful. It was just kind of nice to just gradually do it, moving a few boxes at a time. And I enjoyed it. How are things with Frambo? Not bad. We got stuck once, which, uh, well, we got stuck twice. Chat figured out the first one, but the second one was, oh my God, I had to look it up. And never in a million years would I have figured that puzzle out. It was so complicated. And I don't like complicated puzzles. <laughs> but I've been enjoying uh, the story part of it. I have not really been enjoying the puzzles at all, really. But I have enjoyed the story. Okay, let's open these and see what's inside. The coffins can't be opened. The lids are stuck. Oh, do I have to use the crowbar again? Ah! Sorry. <laughs> That's not a human. <laughs> Am I blocking the other one? No, not really. Why? My coffin is there what looks like Mr. Midnight. Oh my goodness, father, the deedle worm, the deadly worm. I keep on saying deedle worms. I don't know why. I wish you could talk and tell me who took you far away from me. Was it the big bad monster, daddy? The deadly worm took your eyes. That's what it said. Oh, mother, you are so skinny. A bit too much, I would say. But I guess you would take that as a compliment, wouldn't you? Is the bed comfortable? Well, sweet dreams, mommy. Oh, I'm so sad. Woohoo! I'm not in the coffin! Great! <laughs> Woohoo! It's not me! What is that? Is that... That doesn't look like Mr. Midnight, either. But that can't be my kitty, because Mr. Midnight is home. Poor kitty, I wonder if you had a name. Well, I'll name you Albert. But woohoo! I'm not in the coffin! Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir. I just feel really bad doing this, seeing my parents like this. Also, that dead cat is not my cat. They're lying. Fran, I told you, your cat was missing, and maybe this one is actually your cat. It can't be, sir. I did fight Big Kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. All right, Fran, I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I'll cover back up the graves in a bit. I'll just leave them there. I'll come back. Let's go. I think we probably should take care of this now, honestly. Oh! Frank, don't do that! Vanish into the hands of darkness. You have no manners! I'm not afraid of you anymore! I like how she said you have no manners. I've taken away from you the light. The one you love, the one you respect, and the one you desire to love. Sir! Ow! What was that? You broken little girl. House of Madness invites you inside. If you want to find those you love, in darkness you must wake up. You took my heart. Wake up now, Fran. Wake up. Oops, I keep clicking and it's automatic. <laughs> God, that was a super short chapter four, part two. 
That was super. Here, I'm gonna pause it real quick. That was a super short chapter four. <laughs> Diddle worms. <laughs> I keep wanting to call them deedle worms, kind of like something from like Atlas and Wonderland, like the uh, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. <laughs> Hi, Bomb Squad, right? How are you doing? Thank you so much for petting Sally. I appreciate that. I hope you've been well. I'm trying to debate if I should continue. I have like an hour and a half left to stream, and this is already chapter five, which is the last chapter. I think I'm gonna press on. I think I'm gonna press on. Hopefully, because I have to be off right around six o'clock because I gotta go finish up dinner and everything. So I'm hoping that this doesn't take me as long. Why am I chained to the bed? Continue? Okay, I will continue. If it comes down to it, I might have to stop mid-chapter, but this is supposedly the last chapter. So we will continue. Because chapter four, part two was actually super short. But then again, I didn't get stuck for an hour and a half on a puzzle. <laughs> Hello, hope you are well. I'm doing pretty good. Thank you for asking. I hope you have been well as well. Break hearts, right? But I've been doing good. Thank you for asking. It's good to see you. And thank you again for the follow the other day. I, qu I quietly, that's not a word. I greatly appreciate it. Um, so we're gonna continue. This is, okay, so this is part five. This is supposedly the last chapter. So let's see what chapter five brings us. Return to the main menu? No. Aunt Grace? Is that you? I still want to know why I'm chained to the bed. I'm a little blocked here, but it's okay. You guys can see I'm chained to the bed. My darling, you finally woke up. You're, you're at home, my dear. Am I? Really? That's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. And where is Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know, he ran away after what he did. What, what? He ran away after what he did? What? He ran away? But what did he do? Well... Your cat killed my sister and your father! He is a traitor! <laughs> my cat did it? <laughs> New words? I love making up new words. <laughs> I do it quite often. My brain doesn't always keep up with my mouth, or my mouth goes super fast when talking, and I'll come up with the most interesting of sentences and words sometimes. You never know what's going to come out of my mouth, honestly. And with games like this, I've been reading for a while, so when I have to stop and just actually talk, yeah. Yeah, it, it comes out to be interesting sometimes. <laughs> so my cat killed everybody? That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have a guilty one, right? But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He is my best friend. And he's a cat. But it's easier to blame someone else than taking responsibility, isn't it? Whoa! Wait a minute! Did Aunt Grace do all this? Did Aunt Grace kill her parents? I mean, like, no, it's the cat. Don't worry about it. Wasn't me. It was the cat. I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they are not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You need it. But Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Was the question we had at the beginning. Because your hands do bad things when they are untied. <laughs> Sorry. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now! I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little... Oh, sorry. Little, little shining Fran. Don't you worry about the lies. The seeker of the truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, little shining Fran, go to bed and sleep tight. And forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, to cry and hate. But the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling Fran. Actually, maybe this isn't our aunt. Maybe this is something else. Oh 
no! Don't leave me here, Aunt Grace! Come back! Please! Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? The door's gone, by the way. Well, maybe that was how it did it. And it's like a trap door. Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are so tidy and soft. I hope she is fine, but what should I do now? Ah, uh, lay here. Tick tock, tick tock. Crazy sounds, it never stops. Now that I think about it, the clockmaker said the time is a layered reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room in another time. Or I'm just imagining things. But if it's true, how can I make contact with her? Dr. Dearn said that everything is in my head. I don't have any pills. The nurse always changed me to the bed. I painted this one. It's kitty in me! I didn't realize I was a kitty. Wish Mr. Knight would come through the window to save me. My slippers! I use them when it's raining and I can't go outside. I didn't see that I was gonna do that. And the wind took all the magical dust away! Oh, hello. What are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Oh my god, she's a little girl. <laughs> How cute! Your bed? This is my bed. And no, I'm not sick. But you are chained. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog. And yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Whoa, you are myself. You're really, you really are. You think so? And this means that I managed to enter the ultra reality. Did you meet Edward already? He always talks about that. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crashed? That means you are broken. I'm not broken. Why would you say that? Think about it. The only way to cross into the ultra reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, break the physical limitation. That sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. They? Who are they? All the creatures that we can see. The black ones, the white ones. You know why we can see these things? Yes! A man called Leon came to visit once and told me everything. Oh, his book is the thing we found. Or that journal was from him. Oh, and can you tell me then why we are seeing things we do? What a, what about if I help you unlock the handcuffs first? Then we can talk. Good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he is in danger. Aunt Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Who is Mr. Midnight? What? That's our kitty. You know, our best friend. I wonder if like she hasn't got Mr. Midnight yet. I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyways, let me see if I can unlock you. It so happens that I ha I am a key collector. I'll be right back. Oh, I have to control her. Okay. This is my super cute rabbit. Something about... Something. The big, big teddy bear that eats big, big monsters. Do you like my show, little bear? Oh, this one's creepy. You're too upset. Would you like to talk? I know it's hard not having a leg. <laughs> I can't find it, alright? It's not my fault. This is why I click these things. <laughs> so that they're stupid little cute dialogues like that. I was the greatest dancer of them all. Thank you. You really think so? Did you like my show, Little Bear? Please talk. I know you can't. No. You're a bad teddy. I forgot to click these multiple times. But only to make it laugh again. I didn't see what the last lap said. And then be mad at it. This is my super cute rabbit. I like to make it cry. There we go. Hello, Dr. Oswald. I'm completely normal, don't you see? I'm just a funny, clever girl. That's all. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. One more time. <laughs> One more time? That's the same as before, huh? 
the shirt is angry with me. It didn't fit, so I said it was a dumb shirt. It's been lying on the floor since then. These are pants and can be used by creatures with two legs. Or as a hat for those with long ears. Aw. Huh. That's cute. Anyways, I won't use them now. The blue scarf from Wintertime. What is it doing here? It's not winter. I'll pick it up some other time. Eh, no need for that. No need to pick up things right now. We're just exploring. Some of my clothes to make shows. I like to dress differently for every show. Gives me more characters. I don't feel like drawing right now. Chance to draw happy faces on everything. Oh. Or to give color to the ugly things. Or just to draw on paper. Maybe I can make a paper boat. But I can't. I'm on a mission. Let's concentrate. No, I gotta click everything. One blue blanket and one white one. I don't need them right now. Therefore, when it's very cold. Ugh, that jacket. I always must put on that jacket to go outside. I can't even play with the play then. It's quite useless. My yellow dress is pretty. I'll try not to grow up much so I can use it forever. Aww. But if I grow up, I can use it as a shirt. Let's look at on the bright side she is. Oh, it's me, Palantris, and Itward! I drew this after my journey with Itward and Palantris. I think Palantris is funny and smells like bubblegum. <laughs> and Itward likes to play all day long. Oh, okay. Did you do bad things? That's why you are grounded, little lady! You won't come out yet. No, no. Alright, keys! Oh, my key collection. I hope I can unlock the other Fran now. I just realized there's nothing in my inventory now. The door is closed. Okay. I was just curious if I could leave. Please, Fran, find a way to call it. I always do that. I always, like, click on the thing. Let's see. Which key? I always just click on the item and forget to open my inventory, then click on the item. Um, I mean, this one kind of looks like it would go here. Oh, nope. All right, let's just, oh, unlocked. I was just going to, let's just go down the list here. Thank you so much, Fran. <laughs> you really have a lot of keys in there. Yes, don't you? Oh, Fran, before I forget. Palan just told me that if we meet someday, I should give this to you. Here, I think it will help you to open something. <gasps> yes, Palantras! You know him too? Wow, thank you! Yes, he also told me that if we meet, or met, you would be ready for what... You would be ready for what's about to come up. What? Ready for what? Tell me! Oh no, I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. Oh, that bitch. <laughs> Come on, Fran. You must see the doctor now. I'm assuming she can't save me. No, don't go, little Fran. We have stuff to talk about. That nurse is a bad, bad, bad nurse. She was the one lying to the new newspaper about me. Anyways, I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. But nobody can talk. Nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody. Alright. A lot of eyeballs. Uh, the little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the... All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I pressed it I pressed it by the ears first, twice to the left, and once... Oh my god, I hate freaking puzzles. I pressed it by the ears first, twice to the left, and once to the right. I rub its only eye two times to see if it has tears this time. I take him once by the left ear and scream, Stop whining, you little golden box! Press your eyes again, open the door. Okay, I have no idea what's even on this box, honestly. 
Yes, this is the box Polantris gave us. What should I do to open it? Well, hey. Oh, I probably have to use it on myself. No, don't use it with the bed. Try to use it on me. No. Use. Use with Fran. Can I not open it right now? Use on floor. Cause this is like, I'm assuming the puzzle to get it open, but anytime I, oh wait, can I just do this? Combine. Oh, that would have been so simple. I'm assuming I have to do something else later with this then. Cause this just tells me that this is the box that Polantris gave me. What should I do to open it? It has so many buttons to press, but it's not letting me actually press the buttons right now, so. Let me see if there's something else to do. I don't remember having a door, having the door removed. How will I get out then? I can't walk through walls. If I want to find Mr. Midnight, I have to open the door. Well, this is adorable. Oh, this is, I, oh, okay. Well, this is rearranging things, boo. Oh. Oh, wait. There's a key thing there. I wonder if there's a picture somewhere. Imagine X! I think that's the name of the developer. Aw, I love this comic! I like the part when the aliens take the girl to another planet. It's always nice to see new places like Ethersta. Uh, the dolls like to read a lot, I know, because I taught her. I bet she can tell all the stories in the books from memory. I should teach her how to talk, too, so she can tell me the stories, right? Look at that adorable fellow! I love this picture of Mr. Midday. He looks so confused. <laughs> Mommy and I ate peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that day. I think Mr. Midday ate a bunch of insects. Nummy. Oh, this does not look like a fun place I want to be. Ugh, a Kamala. Nasty creatures. Poor Tree. He must be really sad with that Kamala eating from him. I know Kamalas don't like water. Okay, so. Excuse me? Is somebody down there? Yes, I am somebody. Oops. Seen a black cat? Have you seen a black cat? No, I have not seen a cat, but I do see a black thing eating from me. Glad you see it. Are you alright? I think it's a Kamala. Are you alright? No, no. Really. I don't feel very well. I feel sad. I can help. Well, maybe... Well, I may be able to help you. I got rid of a Kamala once all by myself. Really? That sounds promising. I'd love to be happy again. I'll see what I can do. Don't worry. Okay, so I need water. Things have changed a little bit. The house looks so old and bloody. I wonder what happened to the streets. Okay, so I'm assuming I have to find water. My lovely kitty. I love these pictures. I promise I'll find you even if I have to do it all over again. I wonder where you're at right now. To ride the choo-choo train is the best. It sings all the time. Choo-choo. And then you crash and die. <laughs> I guess. I'm hoping if I'm on a train, it don't crash on me. Ooh, kettle corn and coffee. Num num. That sounds really good. I haven't had kettle corn in ages. The Nutcracker stands on guard. I think he is afraid of the ladies. Because sometimes he bites me for no reason at all. Yeah. Mine do that too. Mr. Midnight's bed. I can almost hear him purring. That's odd. But it's still a little warm. That means he was here not so long ago. I'm from the cuckoo clock. This cuckoo 
clock, time tells very diff or time differently. If you stand to one side of it, you'll never grow old. <laughs> okay. I use this mirror to see my beautiful face. Also to comb my hair and see if the cloth if the clothing fits. Sometimes I stare at my eyes for a very long time and get scared. I freaking love these. These are cute. This is Alice from school. We like to play together. She tells me stories about a wonderful land she visits sometimes. We have so much fun making stuff up together. I'm clicking everything because I'm actually not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. My mother always told me that this is because I have a big brain. But I wonder if that is a good or bad thing. Who knows? Big brain is a good thing. My summer hat, it doesn't fit anymore. My head is too big. I don't believe you can hear the ocean in the shell at all. I think it's just my ears making it up. Anyways, it's pretty and I like it. Lots of candy in the jar. It has cat hair all over it. I won't lick it. Oh, it's a lollipop. Hello, don't look at me like that. We had a deal. You stay here until I grow up. Because grown up people are not afraid of dolls, I think. Uh, I, um, well, I don't know if I'm a grown up sometimes, but I don't like dolls sometimes. I will take my sleeping bag when I find Mr. Midnight. So we can have somewhere to sleep in Etherstha. I hope it were comes by to get me. I don't want to be here anymore. Oh! See? That's why I click everything. Uh, examine? My school case. Okay. Oh, no, not come back. Can I just... Okay, I'll look at that in a minute. My tiny sock for my tiny feet! I'll just leave it there. Oh! My lovely peach dress for sunny days. Oh, I can move these. Coat from when it's windy and cold. The summer dress. It has big buttons. Oh. Oh, can I not click this last one? Oh, I thought that was like a puzzle. Just a regular scarf doing what regular scarves do. Any shoes like to cover my feet? They make me think of great dancers in Etherza. I wonder if he will dance again without the shoes. Well, you might have the shoes back. The shoes! They like to cover my feet. I just had to say that again. Oh, I got balloons. Balloons and many colors. Party balloons! Okay, well, that was everything in there. The big doll my daddy and I built together. Her name is P1. And she likes to be naked. <laughs> Living her best life. She had a drench once, but she burned it. See, I don't like dolls. Don't like dolls. She burned it? No, thank you. I don't want to land this bed ever again. I have had better plans than waking up changed to it. Anyways, I find my canadian moves. It's there, so. Okay. I, I think I'm almost done clicking everything. My slippers! I use them when it's raining and I can't go outside. Also, when it's a weekend and I don't need to go to school. Anyways, I don't need them to rescue Mr. Midnight. Alright, let me open this. No. What is this stuff that I got and what am I doing with it? This is something, but... I, oh, wait. I was going to look at one more thing. Oh. I'm gonna keep this little piano to play lovely melodies. Oh, okay. The little piano, I painted it myself a while ago. Okay. I don't like to drink soda because my tummy gets bad. The teacher made me an instrument with a lot of caps added to a stick or something like that. My mother drew this flower for me. I lied to my friend once and told her that I drew it myself. But then I told her the truth and she said it was okay. I'm just saying the door to the dollhouse. I don't need matches right now. I'm just seeing if there's anything else that I can actually click. I robbed this thing from one of my friend's dollhouses. <laughs> wow, girl. After that, I never invited him again to play with me. Most because I didn't want to show him what I stole from him. And the world something, lady something up. Side down. 
This is Tesla, and he likes to play with energy. I had a dream where he was made of thunder. He was Thunderman, a superhero. This is Albert, and he likes rel relative things. It's convenient to think that everything is relative, especially if you don't have a straight answer. I rescued the queen from my dad's playing cards. I was forced to cut out her twin sister, though. <laughs> the other queen is dead now. That was actually kind of a clever way of thinking about it. Okay, so what? Am I supposed to do here? Something back there? Feel the texture. What could it be? Use a knife. Oh, that won't work! What? Okay, so what am I missing? What is this dollhouse? I feel like I'm supposed to get into this case, but... I can move all this, too. Oh, wait. Sit down her tears drowning good friend always okay am i supposed to be putting these like in a certain see this is the, like all the other puzzles of this game i always start to overthink everything like i don't see Oh, I can just tear this, sorry. Oh, I ripped the paper off. Something, oh, well. Well, I ripped the paper, but I didn't do anything. Oh, can I now cut it? <laughs> I just had to rip the paper. Aha, uh -huh, a key, a something I wasn't reading. Got it. Mm-hmm. I wanted to use the key on it. Oops, wrong button. This key was hidden in the dollhouse. Okay. What did I need a key for, though? Other than my kitty's tummy. Oh, wait, maybe it goes into this. No? I think all this was was just moving things to get to the key. But I actually don't know what this key is for. And then outside, I need to get, like, water or something. I'm just not sure how I'm supposed to open this box if I'm even supposed to open this box. <gasps> Installs a stripper pole in the middle of chat for Brad. Ooh, we get a show? Let me try something. No, I can't use anything on her. I found like a whole bunch of stuff, but I'm not even sure. Oh, wait. No. I'm not really sure why I found all this stuff, though. I 
And this was supposed to help me open the box, but I don't know how to get to the, like, top of the box to open it. Wait, can I use a key on this? Yeah, I didn't think so. This key was hidden in the dollhouse. But I have... I thought there was like a hidden thing behind the dresser. <laughs> I don't know where to use the key. I feel like it's something in my inventory, but I tried combining a few things. This is also game warp for some reason. Like it, you combined it at one point, then later you can't, or no, you can't combine it at one point, then later you can. I was just wondering if there's anything up here. All right, what is this? My school case, yas, but how? Cut the door! Negative. Every time I want to use the knife, you can't use the knife. Can I just throw the knife at this thing outside? Sir! Sir! Oh, come on, that was clever! Well, the only thing from up there would be throw something. Well, from up there, the only thing to do would be throw something. Yes, throw something. Let me see what I can find. Yo, these are water balloons? So I gotta fill these with water somehow. So that makes sense, but how the hell do you get out of this room? Let me out! Okay, so I know what those are for. I just don't get this. You have a secret inside your tummy. Because I'll have to find out. I think I have a key, but I don't know how to get the... How to... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that was so clever. I was gonna put him on the bed and then open his tummy. Cause I don't know how. Maybe this key doesn't go to that, but. I'm not sure what to do with this box either. always one little thing I'm missing. I'm assuming there's nothing else here? Oh, I don't even see anything else here.
I was wondering if I would clear. No, that would make no sense. Hi, Rikaku! How are you? Thank you, Brad, for giving me Rikaku show. Can you pull the card out? No, I can't really do anything in the dollhouse. The card is actually. This is actually just a ripped in half card. Wait, is this a. No. there's anything to do with this I feel like it's something with this key but I don't know why would I use it on that I don't know where this key goes and I can't figure out how to open this stuff and then earlier the the other friends gave me this to open this box, but I don't know how to open the box because I can't even look at it. Like, I can't use anything with myself. That's not what I wanted. The only thing I can click is the eye. That's not right. What am I? I don't. I don't know what I'm missing. Oh, I can click these. Oh crap! I thought I had. Oh, uh, just a minute. I can click the things on the front of the box, not the top. All right, let me read this again. Because that's what it is. It's something I had to click the things on the front of that box to open it. And I just got to read this again to figure out what it was. I thought I had to input a code on the top of it, but it doesn't look like it is. I'm good. Just finished putting my tree up. Yay! I got to do that tomorrow. That's what I'm going to do in tomorrow, probably. I was going to do it this weekend, but I was telling Chad earlier that... I was supposed to vacuum the living room and I totally forgot. Well, actually, my whole family did. And I needed to do that before I put the tree up. So I got to do that tomorrow before I do that. And then we'll put the tree up after. Go back to the dollhouse. Okay. I need more ornaments. What, I, what me and my family do... It's, our tree needs more ornaments too, but at the same time, every year we buy one new one. So we have like each year a brand new ornament just for the tree. So then over time, we'll finally have enough so we don't overbuy or anything. And eventually we'll have a whole tree and one for each year. Because in a, I don't remember buying one last year, but I know when I open the box to put them all on, I'll be like, oh yeah, that was the ornament we bought last year. Yeah, there was a knife on there. Oh, on this one right here? I could try it. Nah, th oh, or this, maybe that. Oh, there's, there's a bunch that are loose now. I can't actually use it on... I could use it here, but I can't actually use it anywhere else in the house. I think the house is done. I think I need to do this puzzle here. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I pressed it by the ears. First, twice to the left. And once to the right. I rub its only eye two times to see if it has tears this time. I take him once by the left ear and scream. Stop whining, you little golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. I need to do this. So I need to press it by the ears first twice to the left and once on the right. And then rub its only eye two times. 
Oops, I always do that. Is it that eye? Darn it! I need to read it again. I don't have the greatest of memory anyway, so now I gotta figure out the combination of how to push them. That is what I need to do. There's a box of my granddad's that has all the ornaments I had growing up, but he lives in the exact opposite side of the state. That's a little ways away to get him, but yeah. <laughs> and I live in Texas. Oh! I read all that, and Rakaku's in an ad. I'll read it again. So twice to the left, once to the right. Rub its only eye. Oh, two times. I think I only did it once. Every time. Got it! Oh my goodness, it opened. I'm a master. I think I only rubbed its middle eye once. Okay, back. Okay, I was just reading what you said. You said that uh, there's a box of my grandparents, or my, excuse me, my granddad's, that has all the ornaments I had growing up, but he lives on the exact opposite side of the state. Yeah, that's a long ways to go for some ornaments. That is definitely a long ways to go for some ornaments. Plus, sometimes those are just, like, nice to keep in, like, storage, too. Like, they're, they're nice to hang on the tree, but sometimes, like, when we had ornaments like that, it was, like, we would put some of, like, more of the delicate ones, like, away so that they always would stay safe. And then, kind of, over the years, gradually put brand new ones on it and stuff. So, now we've got some ornaments that we've had over the years, but now we need to, um, we're just kind of gradually buying one every year to kind of build a collection up. I got the box open, so this goes into Kitty now! I didn't realize that with that box Palantras gave us, that the thing on the front was what it was talking about. I thought it had something to do with, like, the thingies on the top. What's this? Okay. Uh, Mabuka Mabuka. Wake up, Mother Mabuka. The horned child is playing with the light. The Volokos is angry and shining too bright. Mother Mabuka, wake up, wake up, and give up the child before the darkness ends. In the hands of the light. Mabuka must wake up. Let's build the cog clock on the back of the giant cats. Too strong are the bubbles and too bright the light, she cried. Me, Mabuka, the mother of darkness, will open my heart. Please take my little horned... <laughs> Please take my little horned evil child and shut down the lights. Okay. Oh, so this is everything I need. Empty case. Got it. Piano keys. Got it. So I'm assuming I gotta find all of this for later. But I think I can combine this. Oh, not use. Combine with kitty. Oh, what? Okay, open. What's it say? Key shaped like a cat. So pretty. See, why can't I get anything to this cat? This won't work. This is the cat key though, right? This cat has something I need! <laughs> a key shaped like a cat. Okay. But how do I... You have a secret? Yes, I know. I know. How do I get the cat key in him? Maybe that's not for him. I see now, I got everything done, but now how do I get out of this damn room? I have a feeling it has to do with this cat, but I don't know how to get this key into him. Maybe this isn't the key to go to the cat. All right, Scarlet stumped again. At least I figured out that one puzzle. I was proud of that, but now I don't know what to do. I see what this is. We're supposed to find all these things. Oh, wait, maybe just a second. 
Let's build the egg gawk gawk clock on the back of the giant cat. So maybe that actually goes on the cat somehow after I bake it. What the hell does this key go to? <laughs> I have two keys and I have no idea what they go to. I have seven or eight ornaments from a small tree when I lived with roommates. Now that I live on my own, I have a room bigger for a bigger one, so I just threw the ornaments from my small tree on and called it a day for now. Hey, that's still an amazing tree. Just saying. It, uh, my tree's this, well, actually our tree's not very big, but it's like a tall tree, but very skinny. And at first when we got it, it was very naked. <laughs> and over the last few years, like I said, we've bought one ornament every year, plus a couple we had from previous years and we're gradually building it up, but I, you know, it's still a cute little tree. We love him. We love it. Whatever it is. He is our little tree and he is the best. But that's what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm going to be cleaning the house and then uh, putting up the tree probably. Oh, and I got to do other things. Yours only four feet tall. Ours is taller than me, but it's skinny. Like he's not one of those like really wide trees. Very skinny and tall. Probably, I think it's a six foot tree because it's not that much taller than me. But he's only like two foot around, maybe, <laughs> if that. Okay, I have no idea how to get out of this damn room and I have no idea what these keys are for. But I did get the box open and I realized that the two things I have in my inventory, so I need a working bulb. Are all these in this room though? Working bulb, because maybe I can find them now. Wake up clock, bottle with water, soap bar, one glove, black wire. No, I haven't seen this stuff though. I thought maybe... This was all stuff in the room, but I have a feeling I can leave the room. Just say it. Oh, I'll try that. I saw you always said that, Brad, and I was in the middle of something. Let me try it. No, it won't even let me use it on the rooms anymore. Or at least this one, because everything is out of the room. And everything's out of this room. I, 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 I mean, I could be wrong, but I really think that it was only for this key. I don't think that says anything. But I won't do it! Oops, I didn't want to use the crayon. Negative! Why? Why can't I draw with the crayon? Wait, no, that wouldn't make sense. Why does this kitty have a keyhole, but I can't use any of the keys on it? Oops. Sorry, I, I had to uh, just chat, um, wasn't scrolling for me anymore, time is there. everything in this room. There's no pills. There's another dimension. I see what we're supposed to do here. To help the tree, I need to fill, I'm assuming, these balloons? 
But I don't have any water at the moment. And again, it's like that one little tiny thing I'm not clicking. And I'm overthinking something. I'm just kind of confused. Why do I have two keys and I don't know where they go other than... I have this kitty with a keyhole in it, but when I push combine, neither key actually works. Let's build the clock on the back of the giant cat. And I think because these are marked out, I think I must wake up Mabuka. Why would Palantras give me this? It must be important. I think I must build it. Besides, it's designed by a Cogwin, the clockmaker. Oh, yeah, that's right. That was his name. Okay. But like I said, I got the empty case and I got the piano keys. But how do I get out of this damn room? Wait, what'd that say? I have to find the door. I, I'm trying to find the door. I thought it was weird I could move these, but... I'm gonna have to look it up because I'm stumped. I have absolutely no clue. Palantras' box? I already opened it. This one is not helping me. Okay, so let's see. Use this on the chain. Okay, yeah, I did that. What? Why is it 
this walkthrough is telling me to take this button off her dress. Why the frick would I have thought about taking the button off her dress? Alright, well I've got a pink button for some reason. What the hell was a pink button for? Am I supposed to make a door with it? Nope, okay, well I'll read on. Okay, I've got all that. I've already opened Pol I've already got the key and I opened Polantris's box. Inside you'll find another key and instructions about the clock. Examine the cat doll in your inventory, then open it. I've been trying to do that! Inside you'll find another key and instructions about the clock. Examine the cat doll in your inventory, then open its chest to reveal a lock. Open this with Polantris's key, then go out through the door. Blech. I've been trying! It's open! And when I put combine with the... The key, it doesn't do anything. But that's what the walkthrough says. Inside you'll find a key. And instructions about the clock. Examine the cat doll in your inventory. Then open his chest to reveal a lock, which I've done. Open this with Polantris's key, then go out through the door. I just happened to see it, and it's just this read through. It just says, as Big Franigan, open the closet, examine your dresses, and use the knife to remove the button on the third dress. Why? I have no idea. I'm assuming that's for something else. But why won't it let me combine this? Because that's what I've been thinking all along. I'm going to try something. I don't know if my game is broken. I don't think it is. Hold the key? Combine the keys? No, you can't combine the keys. And when I push use, I just, I'm holding it. Why can't I combine the kitty key with the kitty? I don't, I don't either, because the walkthrough says this key goes to this. Oops, I keep pushing escape to go to my... Let me read another one. So examine the cat tall, tall, to toy doll and open the door for it and use the key. Which I've been trying to do and nothing. It will not do it. I don't know if I'm missing something. Because he's already open. shaped like a cat. So pretty. Either something is broken or there's like one step I'm missing which I don't think is the case. Okay, 
Here, you know what I'll do? I'll do what I did last time we actually broke the game. Let me get out of the game and restart it. See if that'll do it. Because I think that's what we're supposed to do. It's still technically open. No, it, it won't combine with the cat. I'm watching to see how it's good. Okay, I'm just like reading to see if there's like a glitch somewhere. Because everywhere I keep reading, it just keeps saying the same thing. Use the cat key with the cat doll. I did examine the cat. This? Wait, did I push examine right? That's what that is. Yeah, okay. Just making sure I pushed the right thing. Oh my god, you have to do it that way? And then push use? Why is that the way you do that? Why? Why has it been this entire game? All you have to do is combine the items here and then that one for some reason they make you come back into the bag and grab the key that's so dumb i was doing the right thing the entire time but i wasn't coming back into the bag thank you brad That's why this game has frustrated me so much. Is it stupid things like that where it shouldn't be that way? It should have just been use the key on it. And not because that's what every walkthrough says. It says use the key. Alright, well we've got the door open or we've found the door. Now let's go through it and see what's on the other side. Alright, out the door. Finally out of this damn room. This is like Alice in Wonderland. What's his key? Okay. Hello, is anyone living here? Door 103. Ew, it's all bloody. There's an eyeball watching me. <laughs> I didn't even see that eyeball there. Hey, we still kicked its butt even though it took a little help. Exactly. I completely agree. I just think it's like a weird... Not even a weird. I think it's kind of a dumb game mechanic like that. Like, in the entire game, they teach you how to examine and then combine. And 
and then all of a sudden they're like, ah, no, don't do that anymore. Now do this. And it's like, for somebody like me, who's not that smart half the time, to not even think about opening the bag again when that bag is always there. It just seems so stupid to change the mechanic all of a sudden, just to open one thing. Hello, door 104. Open, please. You won't? You need a key? Okay, so I'm assuming these keys I find. Go to these. Oh, it doesn't fit. Okay. I'm just gonna use them on all doors, because I don't know if these are meaning something. Key doesn't fit that one. Of course, it's the last door I look at. Okay, let's go down. Oh, another key. I don't think that's appropriate, miss. Excuse me. I'm not in the mood for appropriateness anymore. Give me the damn key. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I need this key. There are many doors that I wish to unlock. Tell your friends to be nice and open his... Oh, excuse me. Tell your friend to be nice and open his mouth. He won't. He never does. Besides, his teeth are reinforced. It would be hard to get the key without his permission. Sir? Give me the key. Reinforced teeth? I see. I'll see what I can do to take the key from him then. And who are you, if I may ask? As always, I am Fran. Nice to meet you, Fran. I'm Roberto. Welcome to Mabuka's Den. Mabuka? Who is Mabuka? You don't know who Mabuka is? You don't? Leave now! Just leave. But, Roberto, sir, I haven't been here before. Don't judge me for not knowing. Oh, sorry, this is her. Don't judge me for not knowing. Tell me who Mabuka is instead, so I know. Okay, okay. Mabuka is the mother of the darkness. The darkness. The darkest of darkness. The darkest darkness. Whatever. The obscurity. The end of light. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. What? Am I at the fifth reality? I thought Remor was the king here. Ah, Remor, the terrible black, the son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should go now. I have said enough. All right, I'll be back later anyways. I must get your friend's key. Inside the little house. Oh, I got that key already. <laughs> Thanks, game. I already got that. A little message in the pockets. Five, five, five. One, two, three, four. All right, that's something for later, apparently. Edward forgot his hat, or maybe the hat forgot his head. Or the hat can't exist without the head and vice versa. That means nothing is real. Wow. Okay, I'm assuming I was supposed to come out here to figure out that I needed the key in the dollhouse, but I already got that. So. Onward to door four. Intruder! Infiltrator! Why would you enter without presenting yourself? The freaking eye is talking. I am Okula, the eye from beyond. Behold my beauty! Oh, I'm sorry. What a big eye you are. You must see very well. I see everything, nothing less. Uh, I'll see you around! No, can you see my cat? Your cat? How is it possible that you own a cat? Are you a royal? Queen? Princess? We are friends. I don't own him, but we have a relationship. We're friends. Friends? How lovely. But yes, I did see a cat earlier today. It was crying for help from inside a cage. What? Back in its cage or a cage? The bearer of the cage entered Mabuka's underground. He's still down there inside the cage. Can you describe the cat you see? Big yellow eyes, pink nose. Its fur is very dark. 
black as the deepest night. It's him! It's my friend, Mr. Midnight. I have to go and find him. But Mabuka is asleep. Waking her up can end in disgrace. I'm not afraid of her. Well, feel free to take anything you need from my home. You are brave, and I respect your bravery very much. Thank you, Okula. I'm Fran, by the way. I'll see you around. I'm gonna take your hairbrush. Did I need a hairbrush? No, I'm just gonna take your hairbrush. Ouch, these bulbs are very hot. Oh, I do need a light bulb. I don't know if it's from these, though. I don't want to touch it again. Ow, I hope I don't get burn mark. <laughs> just keep touching it. Huh, this mirror is transparent. It's more like a window. Oh, a winner. A win. Winner. Win, I don't even know how to say that. The eyes are looking around. I wonder what they see if they. Oh, wait a minute. If they don't have a brain. Maybe Akula, but she can't be the brain because she's an eye! Oh, I'm going into the painting. Oh, this place is lovely. Insert coin for the key to 103. Seems it won't budge. Maybe I have to give it a coin or something. Okay. Um, I don't think I have <gasps> a button. And there goes my button. Now what? Who would the hell would have thought? Oh, not a key. The pliers. Who would have thought to take the button off that freaking dress? For as a coin. I got these pliers from the monkey machine. Okay. Why, I don't know. But I've got them. Okay, I got a bottle. I think I needed a bottle, right? Nope. <laughs> I'm getting all this stuff that I think I'm going to need for this. Which it has a bottle, but it's not on here, so anyway. Oh, soap. Can I have your soap? This says 103, so do I open 103 with pliers? A golden snail. If someone is in there, is someone in there? Excuse me. Maybe the snail is asleep. 103. Oh, that wasn't it. Can I pry the teeth? Oh, <laughs> oh no, sorry, I don't like that at all. No, ew, no. That's what it meant by door 103's key, but oh god, I just took that guy's teeth. All right, thank you for the key. Key doesn't fit. Is it 102s? Oh, that thing lied. Miss your midnight! Back of the, oh, oh this is where I put that thing, okay. Wake up clock, perfect. It's tightly tied. Oh, thank you! Oh, wait. No, I want over here to get this glove. Got it. Okay, so now this is your show that I got one glove. Okay. Wait, a wake-up clock? Is that... If I want it, I'll have to do something about it. Okay. What's this? Push button. Oh, hi. Oh, you want the comb. Here you go. Wait, before I do this. Wait a minute. Let me talk to her. Excuse me. I really need the key hanging just behind you. Excuse me, but I do not talk to strangers. Hi, Plasmid. How are you? Thank 
you all so much for feeding Sally. Let me take the key! You don't need to talk, just let me take the key. If I choose not talking to strangers, not listening is also part of the deal. Are you stuck? How disappointing. I have a question though. Are you stuck in this tree? <laughs> I am firmly attached to it. Why do you ask? I'm just curious. See you later. Okay, so she wants the comb. Look, I found a magical hair comb. Isn't it great? I don't know. A hair comb? What is that? You want to try it? Well, it's to make your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try it? I don't know. Is it dangerous? Nah. It can be very pleasant if you do it smoothly. Alright, let's try. Alright, but just promise you won't burn me, okay? I'd only burn if I'm in danger. Be gentle and nothing bad will happen. Okay. I'll be gentle. Brush, brush. Oh, I want this. <laughs> this thing is really cool. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right. A little frustrated at this game. I have freaking loved the story, but I have freaking hated the puzzles and stupid little <laughs> things it tells you to do that don't work. And then it changes the mechanic halfway through the game and is like, oh, this isn't how you do it anymore. Now you do it this way. But other than that, I'm doing great. <laughs> Are you about to commit murder on this game? Yes. I am. <laughs> it worked! Now give me Kia. What is happening to me? I've never experienced anything like this before. But how? You were a Lucifer. Lucifer, no. All Luciferns I've met do this all the time. Really? Well, thank you very much. It feels incredible. I feel like I need to fly away. Hey, give me the key. This must be the key to door 103. I can smell it. But I can't reach it from here. Oh, well, that's going down. Sorry, I thought that was going to move me closer. <laughs> Do I have anything to get that? How do I get the key now? Cause these are all things I need to throw a bottle at it. What would I, mm, what would I use to get this? Cause I'm assuming this stuff the empty case, the glove, and the piano keys are definite, oops, definitely not something to use now. The water balloons are for, um, uh, taking out that thing outside my window. Throw a knife at it. Nope. I think I've missed something. I think I've missed something. I've been trying to, like, power through this now. After being stuck. Oh, hello, tree. You're big. What are those red things coming from inside you? I guess I won't tell. Uh, like I said, I've been trying to power through this now because we're stuck in that room for like an hour. Hee <laughs> Okay, I got the clock, but that doesn't give me... What is this? Oh, no, this is where we put the clock. I thought that taking the thing off for the cat's neck would also give me a string. Okay, let me go back and see if I've missed something. Oh god, his teeth are on the ground. There's a phone here! But I haven't seen anything about... Like, we can use this phone. But I haven't seen anything about a phone number or, like, a combination or anything. Wait, what's this? Oh! 
Oh, it's turning the lights off. Okay, I got a bulb. Okay. I was like sitting there pushing it, trying to figure out what the hell that was doing. So I need a bottle with water. Which I think is how I'm going to fill those water balloons. I feel like... How do I get over here? Oh, there's the wire that I missed. Soap bar. Okay, so I see the soap bar, but how do I get over there? Sir, can you come over here? I did this. Paper swirls just like in a fair stuff. This reminds me of Sunday in the park. Hello, happy monkey. He does look happy, doesn't he? Is your name Darwin? Nice to meet you. I'm Fred. You play the drums very well. Okay. Yeah, it's disconnected because I unconnected it. <laughs> Got it. I thought I clicked that earlier and I did it. Now I'm just trying to figure out how to get down here. <laughs> there was an eyeball in this room to go this way and I didn't see it. Give me that! Oh. Does the sound of my heart disturb you? No. It can stop all of a sudden and that would be the end. I just want the soap. <laughs> I don't like thinking about my heartbeats. Uh, I just want the soap, please. Soap? Are you having trouble with hygiene? I want the soap. No, I, I don't have hygiene problems. I just want the soap, that's all. I see. That's not enough of a reason to have the soap, is it? Maybe for you, just let me have the soap! Give it to me, you've got plenty of bubbles! All right then, take it, it's all yours. Thank you. But be careful with the hijackers. They love children that smell like soap. Ew. They eat their ew! They eat their baby bodies and keep the head the heads. They're beautiful baby faces. That sounds terrible. I'll be careful. Careful, but thank you for the soap. See you later. Okay. I have a bottle here. Can I get some water? No, I can't take water from your tub. Okay, I think I need to fill this, but I haven't been paying attention where to fill water. Sir. You took my soap. Why did you take my soap? Do you have... No, I don't want to... Oh, here, I can turn this on. I turned on the water. Oh! Excuse me. I was blocking it. I can fill my bottle with water. Can I turn this off? Okay, I don't like to waste water. I live in California. All right, so I thought that was gonna turn on his, um, his shower. Okay, uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oops, no, not combined. I do that every time. Can I? Wait, wait, wait. Yes, I turn on the water. <laughs> I was gonna try and fill the balloons with the bottle of water. Then I realized, why would I do that? I have a whole faucet. Okay. Ah, the powerful water balloons. All right, let's go back and save this one guy. I think it was Water Room 101, right? I wonder who the hell is watching me. Whose eyeball is that? Take that! 
Oh goodness, I missed. Oh god. Do I actually have to hit this in the right spot? You probably have to throw all three. Yes! I did it! Goodbye, Kamala. Wow, I don't feel the sadness anymore. Thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm happy you feel better. I do feel better. Let me give you something in return. <gasps> a tree branch! Oh, that's for the key! There, a piece of me. You can plant it if you like. Hee <laughs> thank you, sir. I have to go now. I must find my cat. I hope you find it. See you around! I can now reach that key that I haven't got yet. Oh, crap. Wait, was that through here? Yes. Up we go. I'm assuming that's what this branch is for, because I have all the ingredients for the clock I'm supposed to be making. Fantastic! I can reach it. Now I have the key. Oops. Alright, let's go open this because I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be doing anything at the moment with all this stuff I found and that kitty. Oh. This place looks great. I might actually have to go use that, but... Creature from above, get out of Mabuka's den. You're not welcome. <laughs> oh, wake up, Mabuka. <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm looking for my cat, and I need to wake up Mabuka. Just Mabuka? Mother Mabuka? For you arrogant little infant? And how did you plan to wake- Who's talking? The tree? And how do you plan to wake her up? With the crazy ideas of Cogwin? He's not crazy. Cogwin is a nice clockmaker. Ah, uh, so you know him. I assume you have been into a festa. Horrid place, I must, or I may say, too dazzling. I want. I want to go there? Well, that's exactly where I want to go. Oh, go after I find my kitty. It's like I've already been there. Good for you! You fragile little mind will be safe there. Or your fragile little mind will be safe there with all those boring creatures. I'm going now, you wicked tree. My kitty is waiting for me. Okay, I think I gotta go put together that. Hello, goat. You look a bit like Rem Remoir. Are you cousins to Remoir, maybe? You are much prettier, though. That's for sure. Do you have everything to make the clock? Because wasn't that what we... W yeah, I think I have everything. I'll, I'll go double check, but I'm pretty sure I found it all. I'm pretty sure. Ha! Huh, you don't scare me a bit. Worms with giant faces? Nah. Hello, little bird. Are you having a lovely time? Are you a friend of Mabuka? Okay, so I think I gotta go do this clock thing. Because I have everything. And it's talking about waking up Mabuka. Let's build the clock on the back of the giant cat. So do I just... Okay, no, I don't combine them here. Oops, no, not combine. Use. Do I have to put these, like, in order? I'm going to put them in order just in case. Clock, bottle of water. Because I have a feeling... It Probably like that, maybe. Soap bar and glove. Oops, I didn't want that. I think a wire was next. Wire and piano key. Ah, 
that's lovely. Oh my goodness, this is amazing! The egg gug clock. Hi, Raccoon! How are you? I hope you've been doing well today. So okay, I've got the clock. <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> like I just shine it in her face. Ah, beware of Mabuga! I don't know why she's got that voice, but that's how it came out as. The awakened darkness rises from the unknown. Oh, I'm sorry to wake you up, Mother Mabuka, but I need a favor from you. You need to stop napping so much. Somebody tell me who this creature is. I'd insolent for such a tiny body. I can answer that myself. I am Frambo, human girl, 11 years old, and I am very brave, so you know. A human in Mabuka's den? That's amusing. Who brought you here? That would be Remue. I think he is your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat some sort of reddish potion or beans? <laughs> yeah, I had some red beans the other day. They were yummy. They made me see awful things, but they tasted great. I've already been vibing calmly on, oh, on raft with a friend, nice. I was doing that this past week with my brother. Wait, on a real raft or the game raft? Because both are awesome. <laughs> but I'm doing really good. Thank you so much for asking. I've been frustrated at this game, but for the overall story, I've been enjoying. Beans? My pills look like red beans. So yes, I took a whole bottle. And I cannot use violence against you. The power has been unleashed. I hope you find beneath the ground the truth that you seek. Thank you, but what power has been unleashed? Can you tell me? The power inside you, don't you know? You were selected by the five realms of es essential existence to be the keeper of the key. The five realms of essential existence was created parallel with time. What? What are you talking about? The keeper of the key? Who told you this? The Great Volocaust from Primeve pr 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 told us everything a long time ago. The Keeper will be hunted by the Son of Darkness after feeding from the Red Seed. But you are too young, I must say. Too young indeed to be the Keeper of the Key. There's something about you. Did something obscure happen to you? I think Remor killed my parents, Mother Mabuka. Can you imagine how it feels? I am all of those feelings, Frambo. I am all the sinister, all the darkness you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow, from depressions and fears, or excuse me, desperations and fears. But then you don't, well, this is hard, sorry. But then you don't care if Remor killed my parents? I thought you were nice. I am curious about knowing the reason, if that makes you feel better. Now I understand, it's the reason itself, the truth you seek. Go on, Keeper of the Key, be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. This is your heart? I see it's beating, yes. Thank you, Mother Mabuka, you're so kind. I'm sitting here being a good girl and watching you as well as once upon a time. My belly is sending sending messages to my brain and my taste buds are helping. They are convincing my brain that I want the other half of the Italian sub I had for lunch. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Go for it, SK. That sounds good. I'm gonna I can smell my dinner. I can smell the cauliflower that's cooking. I hope my brother stirred it for me. I asked him to stir it for me so I didn't have to stop stream again. I'm sure he did. 
All right, down the heart. Oh, this place is lovely. Everywhere we go is so lovely. Oh, that creature's body is made of baby faces. <laughs> the bath boy said something about this. <laughs> the bath boy. I think it's the hijacker. Do, excuse me, do I know you from somewhere? You took something from me, didn't you? You little thief. Oh, is this the nurse? Are you talking to me? I think you're talking to her. Where is my knitting needle? Ah, uh, or ah, uh, excuse me. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Did you stab all your little friends with it? Oh, is this me? What? What? Knitting needle? Are you the dead nurse I saw back in the Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you? You little beast. I mean, you don't look alive. Take a number, would you? And wait for your turn in the waiting room. <laughs> it feels like Beetlejuice right now. But Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. Push a button. Oh, that's the number. Oh, give me. I am number seven. Take a number. I hope I get a good one. Number seven. Lucky number seven. They listen, they see, and they touch. In a way, I feel I'm back in the Oswald Asylum. But it can't be. Or can it? There's an eyeball here. I'll go for that. It's locked, but it doesn't have a keyhole. Maybe someone must open it from the inside. Maybe the nurse can open it. Okay, let's go this way. Yeah, this definitely feels like Beetlejuice now. I went for it. Eight inches of meat going down my <laughs> Nice, nice. <laughs> I wonder how long I must wait now. Hours, maybe days. Ha, huh, I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone been waiting? Hmm, I've been waiting for like a month. But I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. Great, I'm number seven. I've been waiting for three and a half weeks. Totally hopeless. Ahem. Excuse me, everyone, but is there a way to make things faster? Yes, become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. And by doing that, you could also help us all. Uh, why won't you become a doctor yourself then? I can't because I feel very sick. I can't. Oh, excuse me. I can't. My R eye is blinded. My right eye? I mean, I know you got three of them, but... I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor. I must be a patient. Neither can I. I've lost my ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. Well, I'm not sick at all. Please let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. That, personally, was, like, rude. <laughs> Do you feel pain? But how can you not know? Do you feel pain somewhere? It's a very hard question. Make it softer. Oh, all right. How can I do that? How can I make a question softer? That's very strange. Do you want me to whisper it? Hey, have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. Excuse me? Impossible to talk with you. It's impossible to talk sense with any of you. Of course you can't make sense of us. You're not the one that sees it all. You've only known us for a few minutes. That's very little to understand it all. Hmm, that's true. But it would be nice to use some common sense. Why, what does common sense do that... What, what does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? Well, it helps to understand. Or wait, it helps to better understand each other. We do understand each other very well with our uncommon sense anyway. Yes, we actually do. We do respect the differences. But who is the one that sees it all then? You mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka knows everything. 
It is not the same as seeing everything. Now, I want to wait because talking won't make the waiting go faster. Huh. All right, thanks for nothing. Thanks for nothing. Ugh, waiting was fun at the beginning, now it's just boarding. B boarding. Boring! Wait. Oh, she says the same thing. I think my horn won't grow again. I'm going to be very angry because of that very soon. Do you see the screen? I have number two! It's almost my turn. Give me. Give me. Give me. My RI is broken. The big eye told me that because she sees it all. This must be the number display. I have a number seven. It will take ages to get there. I must get a better number, like number two. Okay, I figured I had to steal his number. When in doubt, stab him. <laughs> when in doubt, just stab him. I know it's 6.15. I'm going to have to, um, I might get up and go see if I can finish off dinner and then I can probably come back. Welcome home, Magic! Because I don't want to leave this at the, I have no idea how much longer we have. This is the last chapter. Oh, I was going to write number two on it. So I have to steal his number. I actually didn't see it was six o'clock. I saw like 530 something. But I think what I'm going to do. Hey kid, this is my turn now to talk here with the nurse. All right. If you don't wait, wait and leave us alone, I'll tear you apart and eat you. Oh, well, that's kind of you. Ew, you eat children? Did you know that we children are actually immature? Hey, hey, leave the patient alone now. The doctor will determine the severity of the illness. Don't you worry. Um, as I was saying, I saw it was six, uh, almost six o'clock and everything. I just, I think I'm gonna get here in a minute, get up and go finish dinner. That was why I wanted to get off at between 6 and 6.30. And then I'll come back and see if I can finish it. Because dinner won't be ready till 7. Okay. So I have to get number 2 from him somehow. But how do I get it away from him? I don't actually really have anything in my inventory. Would you like a crayon? I might be able to exchange it with them. Would it be possible to exchange our tickets? I have number seven. Not really. No, I'm not interested. Okay, wait. Do you see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. Give me your ticket! <laughs> France tired of being nice! Just give me the damn ticket! Please give me your ticket. I'll do whatever you want. Don't ever say that. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illness I have. What if I find out what illness you have? Would you then give me your ticket? Sure, if I'm still here when you come back. What? I have to go somewhere? How the hell do I find out what his illness is? Shoo, it's not your turn yet. Do I have to leave the room to find his illness? <laughs> I already took a number. I might actually have to leave the room. 
or like leave this area. Cause I actually really don't have anything. Dab. Can I go this way? No. I can leave. Can you please wake up again, Mabuka? I have so many questions. What does it mean to be a gatekeeper? Or keep? Whatever. Can you please wait? Okay. Tell me about a key. Um. But I don't know what I would. I don't know what I would. Um. Need. I wonder if this is even anything. Number seven. <laughs> I'm number seven. Found. I, maybe that's nothing. Uh, that's not the room I wanted to go in. Oh wait, no, yes it was! Sorry. This was the room I wanted to go in. So I wanted to go this way. You took my soap. Why'd you take my soap? Do you have a hygiene problem? Oh, I thought maybe he would say something else. Oh, a painting of a whale. Very nice. Real whales are nice too. Very amazing creatures, yeah. Okay, I thought maybe... <laughs> I'm gonna take your heart. How would I find out what's wrong with that guy? Hello, Mr. Scroll. Scroll. Skull, you have little flesh left on you. My kitty would lick and chew that out of you. Ugh. Would you like to be eaten by my kitty? What a big eye! What are you looking at? Are you looking at my beautiful face? Oh, that's it. Do I know you? You seem familiar. What if that's me? If there's been something, I mean, I, I I don't feel like I should be way back here. Nice to see you again. Did you find your cat already? Not yet, but I'm not giving up. See ya. Oh, I thought he was gonna say something new. I mean, it's probably something so obscure, like that stupid button on this trip. I told you guys, though, I was moving that for a reason. I thought there was, like, a door behind it, though. Gobble that eight inches right now. Ooh. Oh, now, oh, okay. Now for two chocolate balls, I saved for dessert. It's a good combination after the long eight inches. <laughs> That's a good combination right after. Like I said, this is I don't think anything anymore. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Hush, hush, Mabuka is dreaming about you. Grind, ugh, grinding with teeth, you're 
putrid skull, drinking your tears full of fear. She gr grins while the blood of your eyes please her soul. Blech. These look like human skulls. I wonder if they are all... What if they all die trying to enter Mobuka's heart? Alright. What am I missing? When in doubt, stab them all. No, I want the books behind you. How would I find out what's wrong with him? Oh, that's right. You can't actually use that on him or anyone. Did you like a crayon? No, I already tried the knife on you. I don't know. Can't go through the door. I'm assuming that's the door for the end. you combine any of the other stuff in here or use I mean can I just stab Mabuka negative <laughs> I was just trying to stab the eye All right, I'm gonna go back to my walkthrough here and see what it is. Cause I need to start finishing this up. The radio room showed through the number to the tall creature. After you talked with him, go to Akula. Oh, the big eye! And talk with him about the patient's trouble. What? Trouble. Excuse me, I need your help. Of course you do. What can I do for you? Patient trouble! Can you tell me what illness the creature who has ticket number two suffers? Did they say earlier that this eye saw something? Cause I ain't got the greatest of memory. I don't remember what this eye even said to me. He's in the waiting room. Waiting. Hmm, let me see. Ah, I see him. But from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by the low levels low levels of agony in him. Wow, but is it but it is po but is it not it is possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket! Yes, crying all the tears you can cry until you fill this bottle will do it. But don't forget the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm a very problematic point in my life. I thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home. But now, everything is so confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. 
I don't know what to do now. Mabuka said that I was selected for something. But she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my kitty. Mr. Midnight's hugs are the biggest comfort in my life. I feel that sometimes. My kitty's like that too. I just want to find him so we can go back to Etherista and be happy. Oh, the eyeball's comforting me. <laughs> I don't know why this isn't very comforting to me, but I appreciate the thought. Mmm, lovely pain. So profound. Ah, uh, my bottle of tears. The bottle is now full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your ticket. Go now! Time does not wait for anybody. Thank you! I'll be going now. Goodbye! Alright, back to... This dude. Yeah, who... I... Maybe he... The eye said something earlier, but I didn't remember the eye telling me anything that would have made me thought to go ask her, him, the eye, for help. Am I supposed to give these tears to him? I've cried enough. Bottle filled with sadness. Here you go. Here, drink this. You'll feel much better. Oh, trying to poison me? How lovely. Let's see. It tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted before. Give me more! Give me more! No, leave me alone! You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. Alright, alright. There you go. Number two! And thank you. Your tears taste absolutely delicious. Doodles. Number two! Number two! I have number two! Hello, patient number two. We're going to do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry. We don't help sick people without an appointment. This bitch. <laughs> But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty, and I just want to find him. I lost kitty? Don't worry. That's a natural reaction of your sickness. You're lucky, though. Many lose their minds instead. Huh? Lucky? But how do I get an appointment, then? The telephone. Just call me. Here's my card with the telephone number. That's a lot of numbers, ma'am. Oh, why must I call you? Why can't you just make an appointment now? Oh, that would be silly. Because now I'm waiting for you to call me. <laughs> Alright, I'll go make the call. Sounds like a typical doctor's office, though. No, no, we can't do that. You must call first. Okay, that's a lot of numbers. Are you insane? Call us. 01221. That's never not. No. Mm -mm. No. No. I can't remember what I was doing five seconds ago, let alone a freaking number that long. So I'll take a picture. Oh! I put it in my hand! I was all being proactive and I actually took a real photo with it. Alright, fine game. You win. You win this time. Oh, hello! Yes, you told me to call to make an appointment. Hmm, it's Rambo. Uh-huh. I'm available now. No, no! Uh, no. Yes, I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. I'll see you in a minute, then. Great, great. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yes, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oodles. This door. Alright, I'm on my way back! Alright, I have an appointment. Hello, patient number two. Do you have an appointment? Yeah, 
Yes, Franbo is my name and the appointment is now. Let me check the archives. Yes, there you are. The doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. All right, thank you. Ma'am. Go through the door. Oh. Hi. I hope you're not the doctor. I'm sorry, did I scare you? You look quite pallid. No, you didn't scare me. You're scaring me now if you're the doctor. Phew, yes, yes. What a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Well, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. Okay, good. That's not the doctor. That was just a random patient. Remor is the doctor? You haven't chosen to end your life yet. Isn't the pain you feel enough? You are Remor, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Remor. The Terrible Black, Prince of Darkness. I'm sorry, you are not the Prince of Darkness. Just say it. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where is my cat? What did you do to Dr. Dearn? I have so many questions. I'm a little girl. That's what I do. I enjoy immensely seeing your suffering dripping off your eyes. I feed from it. You're the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You are assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that night outside my window. It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. I mean, when I see something, yeah. Haven't you learned that human, that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. And then an earthquake. Holy crap, man, sir, get away from me. Um, was it me all along? No, it can't be. Stop it. I didn't do it. I didn't. It wasn't me. Stop it, please. Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The dull little critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. Yeah, that was enough of that scene. That was enough of that. I haven't killed my parents. I haven't. That monster wants to trick me. I know. Everybody is crazy around here. I have to find Kitty and leave. Some water first. A tank with water. Good. If a Kamala comes around, I'll know what to do. Or if I'm thirsty. Why does the brain have two sides? The brain has many different parts. Like a delicate machine. The spine. All humans have that in common. I can always start a conversation like, Hello! We both have a spine! Isn't that awesome? Oh my god, I want to start a conversation like that sometime and see what the person says. Hey, would you look... We look... Uh, without skin! We would look so funny without skin is what that said. Lizard <gasps> Midnight! 
Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you all right? Kitty? Answer me! What's wrong with you? M meow? Meow? Oh no, Mr. Midnight lost his voice. Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. Purr. I can't make a purr sound. Purr. Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. It's this place, isn't it? You must go. You must get out of here so we can talk. So you can talk to me again. I've been reading for almost five and a half hours. It's getting hard now. I'll talk. I'll take you to a Thirsta, my darling. Palantras can help us. I promise you, nothing will tear us apart again. Meow. Oh, Kitty, I'll be right back. I must help him at Dr. Dearn, all right? He seems to be in trouble. Nah, he looks like he's fine. Dr. Dearn, are you all right? Sir? Sir? Wake up, please, Dr. Dearn, wake up. Are you alive? Sir, wake up! What should I do to wake him up? I don't know, stabbing him with this might work. A syringe. It has a red fluid inside. What could it be? The contents are the same color as my pills. Can it be? Stab the doctor. Maybe this will wake him up. <laughs> I think she's like, hee <laughs> Yeah, right in the neck. What was that? Can't, I can't scream anymore. I can already feel my voice is not working right. Don't worry, Dr. Dearn. It's me, Fran! Ah, what? I can't see very well. You got your glasses on. Fran Boser, from the Oswald Asylum. We were at the cemetery, remember? Fran? What happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? Why is it all about me? Oh, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go! Come on, Fran. Come on, Fran. Monsters? I don't feel like playing games. All right, it wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. Oh. Hi? Well, what is she doing here? I thought you, I thought you chained her. You didn't do a good enough job. Ugh, I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me? Aunt Grace? Why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? Is this Dr. Oswald? How lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was young. Was that... Were those twins supposedly her mother and her sister? Because I don't think this is her twin. I think she said her, she had another sister. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? Yep, I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, Fran. Oswald? From Oswald Asylum? Yes, Fran. The same old man. But why do you know about my mother and my aunts? Well, many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Oh, maybe it was... She was her twin. Uh, both helped me to find the key to success. The key? Hmm. Did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Remar did a great job. See, it wasn't me. His pa- Oh, we- party there's a party i can always have a party <laughs> julie oh, julie from hr hello welcome on in thank you so much for the raid bright how's it going jinxy cube hello welcome on in raiders how was stream what were you doing we were oh we we're playing pokemon how was pokemon how was pokemon today but let me introduce myself. My name is Scarlet. I'm usually a Dead by Daylight streamer. I play Dead by Daylight on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And we have Mondays for Variety Day. And today we're playing Frambo 
which is like a point and click game from like five years ago, probably more than five years ago. And I've, it's been fun, but I, I don't like the mechanics of the game that much because at times the puzzles have been not too hard, but definitely changing oh um, how things work. That is definitely how this game has gone today. But it's been a fun game. I think we're right at the end. So I'm trying to power through it because I was supposed to be off like 45 minutes ago. But that's okay. We're going to power through it and we're going to get through the end of the game. Oh, copy at the end of the stream. So it's, oh, so it's a double raid kind of. All right. Well, welcome on in to both your community and Jinxie's community as well. And thank you so much, Jinxie, for the follow. And welcome on into Skelly Town. I caught the legendary in a normal ass Pokemon. I would normally play a raid video for you guys, but I am trying to get through this so that I can get off because I have to make dinner. <laughs> so I will not be playing a raid video right this second, but if you guys will stick around possibly for the next time I can play it, but I am kind of in a hurry, so I'm not going to play it for you guys. But I appreciate you, Bright, for bringing your community over here to hang out with me. I will take the best of care of them as possible. And like I said, we're just going to try and finish up this game real quick. And then we will, um, I'll be ending stream as well, but I don't know how much longer I have. Yes, Bright. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding that knife after all. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Remor all the time. But why does he hurt, or excuse me, hunt me? Well, hurt me too. Remor is the manifestation of your weakness. A bl and wait. Oh, a blinded. Oh, I get it. A blinded and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You are suffering. Maddie, stop. I know you are upset that I'm still streaming, Maddie, but it's okay. And pain is connected to growth and strength, Fran. Oswald, please, let's just do what we need to do. Aunt Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family! Let us go, my kitty. Oh wait, this is her, sorry. Let us go, my kitty, and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please, just let us go. Yes, you're right, Fran. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. Let me just grab the kitty. Wait. Yes, hi, Maddie. I know, you're very upset. Let me pick you up and put you up here. Now that I've got my kitty in my arms as well. I'm unsure, but I think the TikTok I made is going viral-ish. I gotta go check it out then. Let's go. Viral light. <laughs> I like if it called that. <laughs> well, I hope so. I'll have to go check it out. I haven't been on TikTok in like... I don't want to say a week. Whenever I last picked, uh, put up my last TikTok was the last time I was on it. <laughs> I haven't even looked to see what mine did. Uh, Fred? My dear? Listen to me. You must know Dr. Oswald only wants the best for you. When Lucia was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. But for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine? Of course, but there is still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. No! Not Mr. Midnight. <gasps> no! No, kitty! Oh 
my god, that was horrible. Come on, Fran. Stop weeping. The cat is dead now. Oh, as my kitty is sitting here staring at me. But he was my friend! You killed my best friend! You also helped... Oh, wait. You also helped to kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How could you live with yourself? I hate you! I hate you! Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh. Stop it, Fran! Help! Help! Please help! No, the doctor just wheels. Oh! <laughs> oh! Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster! Her to me. I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. Oh my god, what? I need to extract the brain right away. Fran? Are you alright? No, I'm great. What are you talking about, doctor? What have you done with her? She's tried to kill me. You were right about Fran, Dr. Dearn. She was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She is mine now. This cheery music does not really go to this. I'm sorry. I've been waiting for this moment for many years now. Looking for the right child. The right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. Edward! Oh, hell yeah. Oh, Fran, everything will be fine. Who, who are you? I'm Edward, the one many children talk about. But, but you're not human. Ectobro, ectoprote, palantras monachist. Orska, Edward, I found him. Oh my goodness. Stay away from the girl! Leave her alone! <gasps> Little Fran must be cured! Do you think you can use the same body? Yes, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go! Oh, Mother Mabuka, you took the innocent of the child. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Fran, and you'll be able to walk toward the light. This is pretty. Not me lying dead there, but this, whatever's happening is pretty. Ah, uh, what happened? Itward? Palantras? My heart hurts. Mr. Midnight? How? You're alive, my kitty. I miss you so much. Please tell me something. Fran, we must go now. Go? Alright. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm good. Dr. Dearn? Look! This is Itward and Palantras! I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real. See? Can you believe me now? Oh! Uh, he can't hear you. I think he's under the power of Mabuka. Five hours and it's got... 225 likes and been seen 7,000 times? Is that a viral light? I believe.
believe that's viral for sure. I'm uh, viral light. Hi, Aria. How are you? Sorry, I was into this all of a sudden. <laughs> I was into whatever was happening right now. I definitely believe that's viral light for sure. 7,000 in five hours is not half bad at all. We really must leave now. But can he come with us, please? He has been really nice to me. He really wants to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us. I'm sorry. But what we can do is make him believe that all of this was a dream. He will wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, Fran. I see. Well, that's okay, I guess. As long as he is safe. That's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You are becoming one with everything. Your parents would be very proud of you. Aww. You really think so? Thank you, Palantris. <gasps> oh, big fluffy hug! Now let's send Dr. Dearn home. Marcel Deard, Anum Vecma Sudensla Ecto. Goodbye, Dr. Deard. Let's go now, Fran. There's so much you must see and learn. Hee hee hee, that sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty! I still don't, I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know, that between guilt and fear, I chose happiness. Oh, isn't this the most cutest thing ever? Is she really gonna go live in the fair stuff? <laughs> I don't want to say finally, but in a way, finally. <laughs> oh my god. My voice is starting to give out because I spoke so long today. I don't think there's probably any more, so let me hop over to the screen and I'll let that play in the corner down there. Oh, I'm actually really happy I finished this this week because I next week I want to play Disney, so I didn't want to have to push this off for another week. I don't want to say I disliked the game because I didn't dislike the game, but I didn't like how the puzzles were at some times. Like, I'm not that bad at puzzles. Oh, wait, my character's gone. <laughs> Excuse me, here I am. <laughs> Listen, I need dinner now. I need dinner now, too. But as I was saying, like, I don't necessarily, like, I liked the game, like, the stories. I like the click and point. I, I don't like how things, like, the mechanics of the games worked at times. Because I didn't like how, like, with this, for instance, this chapter with the stupid cat. Where the entire game you went on combining things to open them or, or, you know, we'll say with the crayon and the exterminator's card, you combine them and it wrote on them. So I don't like how all of a sudden in this chapter, it was like, oh, when you want to open the cat, you don't combine them. Now you go back into the bag and put the key in it. So it's like, why all of a sudden did that change? Why was that a thing all of a sudden when most of the game, it was just pushing the combine button. I would have been done with that for like uh, ever ago if it wasn't for that and it was something so simple also with the whole button thing i never would have got that stupid button off that dress for as a key who who would have even seen that button on that dress if i'm being honest i never saw the button on the dress but the early part of the game it wasn't too bad and then I liked the story. It definitely gave me some shock at times. And overall, like I said, I'm not sad I played it, but I definitely will never ever play this again. <laughs> never ever will I play this again. It 
it was fun for one time around. It's not like Little Miss Fortune where I would definitely play that again because it was so fun. And the sto not necessarily the story, but her voice and everything. The whole everything to that was just amazing. This one was just a little bit too much for me, but I did enjoy the story itself. And I don't like games a lot of the times when you have to read freaking everything because it's been almost six hours and I am absolutely like drained. I have no energy whatsoever. But as a as a game, it was fun. I just would probably never ever play it again. So I'm gonna put that there because <laughs> I am so done with that. Um, I am way, way past the time I wanted to get off. I wanted to be off between six and 6.30. So let me, I don't know if I'm gonna raid out. Let me see if I can find someone like really fast I can just like go over to. Um, most of the people I have, I have a lot of people on I want to raid, but I feel absolutely horrible that I'm going to like literally raid and not go over there. So I just don't think I'm going to raid tonight just because I really have to get off like right now. Um, let me turn the music on. So I am not going to raid out tonight. Normally I would, but I am way past the time I need to be off. Did I accidentally turn the music down in my ears? Oh, there it is. So we aren't going to raid out tonight, but normally I would raid out to an amazing content creator because I would like to hang out with them, but I have to go eat dinner. But I appreciate you, Bright, so much for bringing your community over here. And again, thank you so much for the raid. I try to take the best of care of them as possible, and I hope you guys enjoyed your time here. I apologize that I am not going to raid out, but I am going to just end it there so that I can run off and get dinner because I was supposed to do that like an hour ago. So... Thank you, Brad, so much for the hug. And thank you so much for helping me try and figure out each of the puzzles and each of the weird puzzles and stuff and everything. Um, I really appreciate you looking at that video, too, because the raids... Or not the raids. <laughs> the reading ones. They... Oh, I closed out of my... I closed out of my music. There we go. Um, the walkthroughs did not help at all, so... I appreciate you very much, Brad. Take care. Thank you, Raccoon, so much for hanging out today. It was good to see you. Um, I will be back on Wednesday, and on Wednesday, we'll be back into Dead by Daylight. And then next week for our Variety Day, it'll be switching to Wednesday. Because Wednesday, or excuse me, Tuesday, the um, Disney Dreamlight update comes out. So we'll be switching up next week. But for the rest of this week, from Wednesday and Saturday, I will be um, playing... Dead by Daylight. If you guys would like to join my Discord, there is the Discord. It is open to all. Um, sometimes it'll ask you to verify your account, but that is just so that no bot accounts make their way in there. But it might not ask you as well if you'd like to join. And here is all my socials as well if you guys would like to follow me on social media. I'm all over the place. And this will be going up on YouTube as well as soon as I edit it down. I have videos scheduled for YouTube from now until next week sometime, I think. Um, from the Resident Evil DLC we played, and also last time we played Frambo's chapter, will be going up within the next few weeks. And then this one will be up as soon as I get it edited down and everything. But that is it for me today. I must go eat dinner. I must go make dinner. Must take care of my family. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Apologies again for not raiding out, but I really do have to hop off. So thank you all so much for everything. Have a lovely start to your week. And I will hopefully see you all very soon. Meeting on Wednesday. Bye-bye.